What's up, crew? How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. Everybody, let me know if you can see me. Let me know if you can hear me. And I will hop on. I think we're going to go Facebook tonight. We're going to go Instagram tonight. And we are going to go YouTube tonight. So I'm going to hop on Facebook now. Facebook, what's up, crew? How's it going? Good to see you guys. I can't see you, but you can see me. We're good. YouTube, what's going on? Let's get Instagram rolling here as well. Checking for connection. We are live. Instagram, what's up? We are up here on YouTube. We're up here on Facebook. We're down here on Instagram. We're all over. We're all over. What's up, Rose? What's up, JD? What's up, Tina? What's up, Portia? What's up, BY? What's up, Yvonne and Ashley and Joyce and Byron and Nancy and Peggy and Kyle and MM and Aunt Wiggy and True and M and Boutique and what's going on, everybody? We're live everywhere. I like it. So, we got a few things we're knocking out here tonight few things we're knocking out here tonight. We, does everybody know what is the super pack for the night? What's the super pack for tonight? Super pack for tonight is the animal peak pack. So animal peak pack, awesome pack, $100 off tonight plus $65 off of that price as well. $100 marked down tonight plus 65% even better than $65, 65% off of that. Can someone hook me up with the price on that? Can someone hook me up? It's normally $299 down to $199, and then what's 65% of $199? Way less, right? What's up, Root? What's up, Gandy? What's up, Top Todd? How are you? What's up, Juan on Facebook? Maria, how are you? Lisa, what's going on? 70 bucks for the entire freaking pack. Sweet. All right, so what I'm going to do is we are going to make a couple decals out of that pack. We are going to make a shirt, I think. I think we'll make a shirt out of that pack as well. And I will answer some different questions. We'll cut some different materials. And hopefully we will get 500 live here tonight in order to give away a Silhouette Cameo 4 right there that guy facebook it's that guy instagram it's that guy different angles on every one so i had to point in in different spots all right so the animal peak pack is the pack for tonight so a few different things that i've made in that animal peak pack you guys always hear me talk about all the time how I built my business and how I built my business as the decal world, right? And doing car window decals. This pack is freaking amazing, okay? Um, the wizard does work on 2020, correct, Daddy Brown? So to give you an idea of this is a full color decal from that pack. All right, full color decal layered. I'm going to make one like this here tonight as well to show you guys. And I'll show you a different way instead of using registration marks, especially when you're using more expensive material, right? So I'm going to do one of those. And then this is just a single color version of our TRW glitter sign vinyl. So glitter sign vinyl, sweet one as well of the little lab. Got the golden retriever in the last one. This one is the glitter sign vinyl. The TRW glitter sign vinyl layered again, but we just did it in the glitter this time, and we'll do a single color one. We'll do a multicolor one. I will find one of you guys. We'll pick a name, and we'll do a name, and I'll make a decal for one of you guys. So everything I do is on the spot. Everything I do from start to finish, I cut it, I weed it, I press it. The whole point of doing these trainings is to hopefully help you guys out and train you and help you and give you different ideas as far as how to do it, right? Um, 
Yeah, yeah, man, it's tough. I mean, you got to have a, a pretty big... Equid is so freaking awesome. Equid is so amazing. And that's how I got started, Matt. So there's a lot of cool things out there, and they look awesome. But they're expensive, and they can honestly... I've seen people that get into things like that, and they pay more than... It's crazy. So it, it all depends. It, it depends on your business. Depends on your business. All right. What's up, Sticker Plug? What's up, Stephanie? What's up, Troy Moyes? All right. So first thing I want to do is I want to show you the pack. Okay. How many of you, by the way, I know I'm sure some of you haven't got it yet because, man, holy freaking cow, orders, orders, and orders. I think the entire warehouse today was basically packing and shipping orders. Like the entire warehouse is just full of boxes of orders because we just recently released our TRW Blast Reflect and got those back in stock, right? And they're already getting to be out of stock. And then the TRW Reflex Sign Vinyl that we just put in stock. And so I'm telling you right now, they are, they are, currently behind on orders right now so they're coming in early again tomorrow and to get shipping with that and man it was we didn't realize how overwhelming and crazy it was going to be but I think when you guys saw me do that live and awesome sticker plugs love to hear that love to hear that appreciate you following so just for you guys to um I think when you saw and I think I have one of them here. Let me see. Yeah. Did you guys see this one that I did? And then we did the lights on, lights off test. This is a reflective sign vinyl. So when it goes on the back window of a car, it's just nuts, right? Go to the Facebook page and check it out. It's freaking nuts. But we have, obviously, the heat transfer vinyl stuff as well. And we'll make one. We'll make a um, decal out of this tonight as well. Just to show you, it's, holy cow, if I had this material back when I was the decal world, I think it would have, oh my, I would have freaking killed it with this stuff, especially for business websites and advertising on car windows. Freaking awesome, okay? All right, so let me think of how I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring this over for Facebook so they can see. So Facebook, you guys come over this way. I'm going to show you my screen. And let me get you guys there. And then Instagram, I'm going to move you guys over to here and flip you around. Give me a minute. And I'm going to have to get you guys seeing my screen kind of at this angle. So Instagram, just to let you know, head over to YouTube. That's where you're going to be able to see everything best. Same thing with you guys as well, Facebook. Same thing as you guys as well. So, got that there. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Flip you guys over screen-wise here on YouTube, and let's get at it, okay? So, material or the actual pack, the actual pack, if you go to Featured, and you go to Featured Supplies on the website, it's going to be right here. It's the Animal Peak Pack, Okay? So, how many of you, and I know a lot of you probably do already, okay? How many of you currently own the Animal Peak Pack? How many of you here? I'm sure a decent amount of you. We hit 200. Let's go. 200. We got 300 more. Let's get it going. So, Animal Peak Pack is a really cool pack for the fact that, number one, if you have, if you have something like a VersaCam or a print cut machine, oh my goodness, all day long right? Super, super easy. But even a Silhouette Cameo, a Cricut, any type of craft cutter, super easy to do as well, all right? And if I come down here, I can kind of pop through and show you. So with this pack, you're going to get, oh, awesome, Nicole, I'll find it, thank you. You're going to get some different template layouts that you can swap the dogs in and out with and everything. So you'll get some template layouts, but then you'll just start getting all the dogs, okay? So you can see the Golden Retrievers, the Great Danes, the Golden Doodles, 
We got the Labs, the Huskies, the Labradoodle. We got the Pitbulls and the Maltese. We got and multiples of each of them. Pomeranian, the Poodle. Uh, we got a Pug, a Roddy. We got a Schnauzer. Uh, we got a Sheepdog. We got a Shih Tzu. But this pack isn't just dogs, and that's what's cool about it. So you're seeing a boatload of dogs as I go through here. But then we have a beaver, and then we have Boston Terrier, some more dogs here. We have a bull. We have a, the cats here. We have the chicks here, a cheetah, a chihuahua. We got a Chinese crescent. Yvonne, all-star member, you're a freaking all-star, thank you. And by the way, Major League and all-star members, you guys are getting hooked up this week if you haven't seen already. Um, we got cows, we got little weeder dogs, we got the Dalmatian, we got deer, we have dolphins, so a donkey, a duck, multiple ducks, a ferret, an elephant, an eagle, what else, a fox, a flamingo. German Shepherd, Giraffe, Goat. So anything you can really think of, we have in here. And we're already starting to work on another one of these. Hedgehogs, hippos, horses. Um, the horses are really popular ones. We got a frog, a koala, a kangaroo, a lamb, a lemur, a lion, a llama. Got to have a llama, right? A otter, a monkey, an owl, a panda, a penguin, a pig, a parrot. I mean, you can see I'm just scrolling through. A polar bear, we got rabbits, raccoons, rhinos. So, a rooster. So, I'm trying to get through this quick and it's not getting through quick. And snakes and sloths and sugar gliders and walruses and turtles. And there we go, finally at the end. And whales and zebras. It's like the cereal, right? So this pack right here is what's cool about it is you can do full color stuff, but then you can also do single color stuff as well, okay? And that's what I'm going to be able to do. What software do I need to be able to cut in color? Um, Karen, it's not anything to do with the software to cut in color. It's a printer like the Roland Versicam or a Mamaki or... Um, like the Versicam is an eco solvent printer. So it can print to heat tra a specific heat transfer vinyls and vinyls to make full color decals like this here. And this is a full color decal that was printed with a Roland Versicam. Okay? So shoot me a, give me something that you guys want me to make. I'm going to make a decal off the start. Maybe a dog in their name or something like that. Give me something. What do we got? So give me a breed. Give me a breed and then maybe a name. And then that way I can probably go from there. And we don't have to customize it. We can just do the dog for this one as well. Um, I see a few different ones for... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh boy, it's going to start just flying in here now. Okay. Um, we got, I'm looking for the first one that I see just completely random and one that we have. Okay. I've seen a few of them pop up, so the next one I see. Okay, so Paula. Paula asked for, Paula asked for a husky. Let's do a husky. Do you guys want to do a one color or a multiple color husky? Maybe a three color husky. What do you think? Paula, you want to do a three color husky? You guys have seen me cut single color ones before, right? Let's do a three color one. Let's mix it up. Um, okay, let me see. Sign vinyl, sign vinyl, sign vinyl. I haven't done this yet. And I actually was thinking about doing a video on it. What if I did a three color Husky in the new TRW Reflect? I haven't tried it yet, but I want to try it. And I'll do it without registration marks. So let me try that. So let me come over here to... 
Corel Draw. And I'm going to go add artwork. And we are going to go with, oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go Animal Peak Pack. So this is the pack right here of all the different dogs. And here's our Husky here. So we'll go a three color design. We'll go black, white with the red tongue. This one looks good here. So let's do this. We got this here and what we could do on this one, let's see what our size is. We're at about four by 4.4 inches. Okay, that's pretty good there. With blue eyes, oh, you're gonna make me work for it, aren't you, Paula? Okay, I can look into that, let me see. So if we wanted to do this dog with blue eyes, even though in the pack it's not gonna come with blue eyes, right? Here's what I would do to do that. I would come over here, make sure I'm on my, okay, I'm on Corel. I will come over to this area and I'm gonna see what my layers are right now. So the, let me ungroup, control U, and it looks like the black is my layer there for this one, okay? And the white is back behind, all right? So what I'm gonna to have to do if the black is the layer is I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna do a smart fill, click on that eye and that eye, and then I'm going to weld those together and turn them blue. But Remember, if I did that, it's still got the black eye back behind it. So double click, highlight, and delete the black back behind it. Highlight, I'm just deleting nodes right here. Delete the black back behind it. So now I have just his eyes, I have the black, I have the red, and I have the white. So we've now turned this into a four color design, right? So four color design. Let's go ahead and highlight this. And I want to do this without registration marks. So I'm going to have to put some thought process into this when I'm app taping it and stuff. Okay? So let's do this. Highlight it all. Four inches, I'd say, I'll probably want to do two of them. So let's go about five inches tall. And let's double it up. Okay? So I'm going to go templates. Do I want to mirror this or not? And this is, I think, I think this is going to look freaking awesome in the reflective. I think it's going to look pretty awesome. And by the way, we bought a boatload of the reflective and completely sold out. I think we might have a few feet of black left. And, but we have more on order already. Okay? Correct. We do not want to mirror this, right? So I'm going to go to templates and I'm going to go to my vinyl overcut. And there we go. So here's the biggest thing with this. Okay? When the, when the wizard is looking at this and it sees two perfect circles like that, you'll have times where it looks at that, those two circles right there, as rhinestones, okay? So that's why it converted it over to that. But that's not a big deal. You can, if you want to, just click on it and you can cut it from there, like cut these eyes right here. Everybody with me? Now, those are going to be a pain in the butt to weed, but that's okay. And I don't even have to waste that much, but I'll just cut a little scrap with it. And hopefully I have some of the blue sign vinyl here as well. So, first thing I need to do is, and again, I wanted to cut two of these. So, I'm going to take this, I'm just going to duplicate it, and I'm just going to drag my weed box out. I'll keep a weed box on this. And I'm going to cut on my white sign vinyl for this one, okay? And I'm at 9.75 inches. I know the material is about 12 inches wide. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to bring you guys all over to the cutter over here. So let me grab you guys here, Instagram. And let's get you guys so you guys can see the cutter there. And then Facebook. Let's get you guys arranged over here and pointing down a little bit there so you can see the cutter and then youtube you guys got all the views so we'll get you guys hooked up here so let me switch your cameras over here real quick and this should probably be the best camera for you guys right now all right so let's do this i need to first load the material here so coming over here 
and let me bring this over so I can see it as well. Give me one second. And Facebook, you know what, Facebook, I want to get, I'm able to see your questions. So I'm going to refresh my Facebook here real quick so I can see your questions as they're coming in too. Give me one second. So Facebook, there we are live. And let's get our questions over there. Boom. There we go. And then let's bring this up here so we can see that. And we should be rocking and rolling out. All right. So vinyl I want to use on this. Okay. These are the different reflex for the uh, heat transfer vinyl. And the shirt let me know. I've been using everything lately on the Hotronics heat press. I can heat that up right now, but you, I want you guys to let me know. Do you want me to press on the easy press tonight and do maybe a bling anything and something else? I know we got a lot of easy press users in here, so maybe I'll do easy press tonight and because we've used that the last few times. All right. So first thing I need is my white white reflective and this is my white so let's grab the white here i'm seeing yes got my order enjoyed everything awesome d appreciate it what's up linda how are you what's up tracy and rosa from facebook how you guys doing instagram i can't see your questions so i'm not ignoring you guys but i'm only able to see the questions for facebook and youtube up here all right, good to go with that. I'm ready to cut. So I'm going to come back over to the software here, and I'm cutting the back white layer, okay? So I'm going to go to Launch and Cut Plot CM4. Where are we at numbers-wise, by the way? We should be, what are we, 20 minutes in? We should be at around 250 or so by now. Are we there yet? Yes, I see you guys. I see you guys. I see you talking about that. I'll show you in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go a force of 18. Again, older blade, and let's go ahead and hit send. 250? Okay. So, any of you that haven't seen, it's starting to kind of peel off. Can you see, uh, can you see the burn mark? That's from last live. It's okay. Only 117 likes with 250 of you here? Yeah, we got to get that fixed. That's miserable. All right, let's trim this out here. And let's go ahead and take my white sign vinyl. Let's bring it back. And I'm going to come over here and grab some of my black. Now, again, the vinyl I'm using, we have a bunch of different types of TRW sign vinyl. We have our matte vinyl, not matte vinyl, but matte, M-A-T-T-E. And we also have our just basic glitter vinyl. We have our standard intermediate vinyl. And then this is our newest, which is our reflective. So here, I'll show you. You can't, like when you look at it, it looks like just a regular black vinyl. But then obviously once the light hits it, and we'll do that here in a little bit, that's when it is pretty awesome. So looking good there, left edge, right edge, drop this down. The vinyl cutter I'm using, um, J Inks Designs, make sure you're on YouTube for the giveaway. That's where I pick the cameo for a giveaway. But Facebook, Instagram, I need both of you guys to share the link to the YouTube in different groups and stuff so we can hit our 500. We gotta hit our number. All right, good to go with that. Heading back over to the software here, and let's go to, we aren't going to do the tongue yet. I'm going to take this part of my design, and I'm going to duplicate him. Just drag it out, and that's ready to cut there. My size is 9.6 inches, plenty of room, launch, and cut plot CM4. 
What's up, Jessica from Chicago? What's up, Lexi? What's up, Angelica? What's up, Caribbean Vlogs? How are you? All right, heading back over here. Now, before I cut this, just for a split second here, I'm just going to come over and check this, peel it, and I can see that it's weeding good, so I know my pressure's good. All right? So I think I had it at 19, and I'm going to go ahead and hit send. Now, what's cool about this material and the reflective material is it's actually got a blocking agent in it as well. It's like a, almost like a blackout. So you aren't going to ever see any of the other material or anything coming through, which is sweet. All right, so as this cuts here, what's up, NMG? How are you? Victoria, what's going on? By the way, I didn't even ask. I apologize. I'm sorry. I didn't even ask how many newbies do we have in here tonight? Let's go with first timers first. How many first timers in here? Let us know so we can welcome you. First timers, where are you? Christina, first timer. Love it, love it. Denise is a newbie. Oh, man, we got a lot. It's Sylvia, Lexi, Angela, Tariq, 3D, Abby, Tina, Ashley, Denise, McMillan, what's up? Big Daddy, that's you. Jerica, what's up? Caribbean, Naz Nazaria, is that right? Holy cow, I can't keep up with it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just flying through, and I don't have my mouse to scroll back. So... You notice how I'm not using, obviously, registration marks, right? So by not using registration marks, technically I'm not having to use quite as much material. Well, what's nice about that, this little piece right here, I'll be able to freaking one, two, at least, I'm going to make at least 20 to $30 with this piece of material right here. I'm serious, with black reflective sign vinyl. How do you, how would you guess I can make 20 to $30 with that size material? Let me know. A lot of you guys have seen di the different things that I do. How could I make 20 to $30 with only that much material? And I guarantee you a lot of you are going to guess it. Heck yeah, Sharon. Heck yeah, Becky. All day long, Herm. All day long, Joe. Look at all the usual suspects. You guys know, you guys are in my head, right? You guys know what I'm thinking about. So what I would do, what I would do is I would use that for um, helmet decals for baseball and softball. Imagine how badass that would look to have a reflective sign vinyl number on the back of your baseball helmet or on the front right there of the baseball or softball helmet football right when the lights hit it at night your number's just gonna glow how many guys are offering that right now probably not any of you unless you got some of the reflective in already mailbox numbers for the community yes nancy either way i'm still happy nancy are you tell me are you doing that because we talked about it the other night and i said someone please tell me when you do this or were you already doing it, which is cool as well. I just love it because if you were on the live, we talked about it the other night. Nancy, let me know. Because that was the first, one of the first things I said the other night, right? One of the first things I said the other night was freaking the reflective sign vinyl, do mailbox numbers and mailbox addresses, right? You will make a killing on that and it looks freaking amazing. Love it. Love it. All right. Oh, sorry. I'll get you guys down here so you can see the weeding. Okay. So whenever I weed the paws like there, I just kind of go up at the four paws. Boom, 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 and boom. And then for this area here, what I, what's really cool about this material that I like with the reflective is it's very easy to rip so a lot of times when i'm using sign vinyl and this one was pretty easy to weed 
But a lot of times when I'm using sign vinyl, there are times, and I'm sure a lot of you guys think that as well, where you want to rip it off because you're not able to bunch it in your hand good enough and you don't want it to go back and stick to it because if it goes back and sticks to it, then you got issues, right? And again, Facebook, Instagram, over on the YouTube channel, you will get much better views as far as camera wise. Okay, so let's go with this here and let's take this black up. Yes, I'm telling, we, I did our mailbox when we moved into the house here. I did our mailbox in just a regular silver and I am going to redo it in the reflective and I'll make a video on it and it's gonna be sweet. I think I'm gonna use, um, just the white or the, or the silver, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, probably, probably the white. I, I think the white's just gonna pop the most. Okay, ooh, scrap of red. Do you think I can fit the tongue on this? I don't know, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this, let's try it. Let's come over here. I got my pinch rollers basically as far away as I can get them on this little tiny piece. And I'm trying to find the widest part. This side's a little bit wider. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're about to see. Only way you can find out, right? This has got a shot. This has got a shot. Let's try it. I'm coming over here. Let's do the tongue here. So what, if I'm trying to fit this on this small little piece, am I going to use a weed box or no weed box? You guys tell me. Weed box or no weed box? I know the mat's right there, but I want to try it without the mat. You guys, oh, you can't see my, yeah, my mat's in the drawer over there. I'm acting like I can't find it, right? <laughs> All right, let's go to launch and cut plot CM4. So what I should be using right now, just to let you know, and I don't have to use the big one, but I should be using my TRW cutting mat, and then it would be super easy to do it, right? I, I like making it more difficult, especially when I'm on a live with 400 people watching. All right, so good with that. Let's come over here. I got a force of 19 and I'm gonna hit send. Let's see if we can do it. Oh shoot, easy. All day long. Look at that. Simple. I got eight more tongues that I can cut. That sounded bad, didn't it? All right, so. Let's weed my two tongues here. Save this. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, last week, Matt, I started looking at the same and a few days ago. You started talking about it now that I have a place to come in. Oh, that's awesome, Wayne. I love to hear that, dude. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Now, oh, shoot, we got to do the blue. We got to do the blue. I forgot the eyes. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I do. I got some blue here. Blue. Let's get it. I recut numbers from my hubby's truck. Now 25 boards. he started driving. Oh, that's awesome, Peggy. Love to hear that. You know what I love is when we do these lives and all of you guys are on here and, and you talk about it and we talk about stuff each week and stuff. And then you guys always update me on all the different things that you're doing. I got this order and this order. Let's go. Craft don't care. What's up, Craft don't care? All right, good to go. Now these little eyes are gonna be a pain in the butt. All right, so come back over here to the software. We got pain in the butt eyes, all right? so. With my pain in the butt eyes here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this here and then launch 
Cut Plot CM4. Bonita's a newbie. What's up? How are you? And let's go. I should be able to just hit the top right there. Let's go to send. And I don't know how small these are going to be that's going to have any issue with them. Holy cow. Yeah, super small. All right, that's all right. So to weed this, I need to, let's see, let's go here and okay, here's what I'm going to do on this one then. Because it's so small, I can see it's trying to pull up a little bit, all right? So what I think I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do a little reverse weed on this. So let me grab a little app tape here. And I'm going to drop this down, squeegee over that, and a little bit harder when you do it edge to edge, but when I pull this up here, okay, everything stayed down there, and now, because it was starting to come up when I was doing it regular, but now when I pull it this way, Okay, what I'm looking for, the main thing I'm paying attention to is my cut. All right, so the tape I'm using here is the AT65, which is the, um, the higher tack of the application tape. So that looks good there, that looks good there, and peel that. Oh, I was pushing the other one down and an eyeball came up. See my eyeball right there? So, let me see if I can drop my eyeball back off my finger. There we go. Because I'll be able to line it up in a little bit. Now, I basically have to get the little tiny, super tiny inside area of that out. And this is the part that's going to be super hard to do. Had this just been on that same decal, it definitely would have been a little easier. So, got that part out there. And then I'm just kind of pushing it out and got that part there. And then let's just get that back to being straight. So have all of my eyes here and I'm going to trim the edge. I probably should, put, should have put those a little bit further apart, but I got my eyes right there. Now, the hard part, okay, the hard bar, Angela Sanchez, welcome to Little League Membership. Appreciate the support. So the hardest part of this normally is just figuring out, and let me move you guys over here, and I'll move you guys down a little bit here so you can see a little bit better. There we go. And let me move you guys down a little bit Facebook as well. There you go. The hardest part is figuring out which kind of way we're going to do this as far as the layering, okay? So what do you guys think? Which way would you do this, okay? Because we don't have registration marks and everything to do it, right? So we got to think of which way we're doing this. Obviously, we want the black to go on to the white here, right? We want the red to go there, and we want the eyes to go there, okay? So what color do you think we should app tape first? <clears throat> you guys let me know. What color do we app tape first? And it's, I love this part of it because you really have to think, okay, and how you're going to do it. What do we got? I want, what color am I going to app tape first? Let me know. And I'm going to grab some app tape here. Uh, on the helmets, Holly, I usually, I normally went about a one and a half to two inches. It just depended on the, uh, depending on the helmet and numbers. So I've got that there. And let's trim this off. So what colors are we saying? I see white, I see largest, I see red, I see blue, I see red, I see red, I see silver, I see red, I see red or blue. 
okay? So, oh, I love this. I love this part. So check this out. You know which, you know which piece I'm going to app tape first? And it's crazy because not one person said this color. The one I'm going to app tape first is the black. And most of you are like, no, you can't do that. Okay? I'm going to show you how. All right? I love using this method. So I'm going to app tape the black first. So I'm going to drop this down. Got my black there. And let me grab my squeegee here. Oh, did it? Okay, a few of you did say black. My bad. So go to my black here. Once I have my black, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Yeah. Do you guys see why I'm, why I'm doing the black first? Sorry, I'm coming over here to be able to see the comments. Do you guys know why I'm doing the black first now? It's, and it's only mainly because of the method that I'm using here. Okay? Correct. So let me go ahead and slowly pull this up. Oh, you know what? I moved it a little bit there. Let me get this. I probably need to get a brand new piece of app tape because I'm trying to use the piece that I had stuck to that. So let me see if, oh yeah, it's pulling up good now. Checking my edges there and I'm good to go. And this is where most of you would probably do it a different way, okay? But the biggest thing that I like to do and it's kind of weird, is you can actually get it to where the app tape will come off it as well. All right? So there's different ways to do this. But I'm going to take this here. Now, if I came back down onto that right now, I'm not going to be good. But the red, I can't do that yet either. Now, the blue, okay, because we had to app tape this blue, because it was so small, that's where we have the issue, okay? So that's where I'm going to have to, unfortunately, do these this way. And that's the only reason why is because we came back and had to do it that other way. But here's the thing. Had I done registration marks, I really would have been screwed because I would have had to cut out a whole piece of the blue instead of just those two little dots, right? But I know the red gets really confusing. So here's the thing. I'm going to take this here and I'm going to drop this down to here. Right? And now that I have that, um, and then the red, yes. But the thing is, is when I come back with the red, this is the thing a lot of people don't realize. When I stuck the black to the white, the black actually sticks to the white harder than it does the application tape. So as I peel this up, now it's exposing it again so I can put my tongue down. Okay, it's a different way to do it, right? But just depending on if you wanted, so I just, all I did is I just folded it up a little bit now, I can do the tongue a few different ways. I could do the tongue where I have it as an app tape, and I'll show you that way. Watch. So I just grab a little scrap of app tape here, push this tongue down, and let me just get it to release right here because this is just using an old scrap of app tape. And then when I lift this up right here, Again, it's allowing me to get to that, and I can drop the tongue down right there. It's going to stick to that black better. And then we're done with it. And I'll show you over here. So a lot of people, and tell me the truth if you guys were thinking that, as soon as you saw me do the black first, you saw that the tongue had to go on top of the black. You were probably thinking he screwed up because now he's not going to be able to get underneath 
that app tape to get to that red tongue, right? But just because you're layering sign vinyl on top of sign vinyl, the vinyl is going to adhere to the other vinyl better than the app tape is going to adhere, adhere to that top layer. Does that make sense? So, and there's different ways, there's, you would be amazed at how many different ways there is to do sign vinyl. And even honestly with a decal like this, I could, if I rolled this off here, this material is probably thick enough. Let me see. It is. It's thick enough to where I could apply it to the car window like this, almost like as a regular sticker. Because look, I'll just be able to push this back down here. See that? So, I mean, application tape will be easier for the customer. So I would recommend doing it with the app tape. But I could have done that. And it would have worked. All right, I got to see what this looks like now. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it very good. So... Let's just go like here, and what can I use? Maybe my iPad? Let me try the iPad here real quick and see if we can't get a nice look of that decal. Let me move you guys up a little bit here. Facebook. Okay, so you guys can see the decal over there. It looks sweet, right? And let me go to video here, and I'll show you guys. Well, actually, you guys will be easy. Facebook, watch this. Turn on the light, I think. Is it going to let me? Let's see what we got here. Instagram. We should be able to... Oh, it isn't going to let me. Dang it. All right. So here we go. See it there? And then as soon as I go with the light, oh, my goodness. It, like, took over. I don't even know if you can see how freaking bright that is. Look when I turn the, the darkness all the way down. Check it out, guys. Watch this. So, with that reflective, the darkness all the way down, so you can't see anything else, but the husky just reflects. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? The husky just reflects. I mean, it's so bright, it's almost even hard to see. I mean, looking through the iPad here. That's pretty sweet. Can't see it on YouTube? Hold on. Let me show you this way, YouTube. All right. Let me get you here. So we got it here. Got the video there. If we go to... Let's see if we can get light on. Boom. See that? Oh, the, the blue eyes pop too. Tell me you can see that on YouTube now, please. Oh, that looks sweet. So when somebody's in a car behind you, they'll see this. And then as soon as you turn the light off, then it's back to that. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, the eyes, the blue reflect on the eyes pop too. I'll do, I'll take some pictures and post it on Facebook afterwards to show you guys how good you can actually see it. I know it's hard to see it through Facebook and everything else. All right, so... Let's go ahead and drop this. 
on here. And do I have all, oh, my main light back here is not. It's like it's looking dark in here. And let's go and trim this off. And there's our decal ready to go. Now, again, the biggest thing is when you want it, you want the customers to app tape it like, or to apply it like this. So you can see, once I put it back onto the app tape, it just came off and now it's ready to apply to that car window. So I'm just gonna drop that back down, squeegee it again, and we have a finished decal ready to go. All right, and pretty freaking cool with it. How many of you guys, honestly, how many of you have seen uh, and this decal looks freaking awesome just as it is. I'm not sure if you can tell on YouTube, but the white has like almost like a shimmer to it. The white reflect. Almost like a shimmer to it, so it looks awesome. And then the black and obviously the red, it just really pops. Um, to put that in a car, would you need to laminate it? No, this actually has a five-year outdoor life. Five-year outdoor life on it. It's pretty crazy. Um, design space, yeah. It, design space is going to bring a lot of the SVG files in a lot larger. And then you're just going to have to... Um, sorry, I had you guys pointing over there. Sorry, Facebook. I'll get you back here, Facebook. So it just does that. So just size it back down. But just to let you know... This, I had it about, what was it, like 4.8 inches tall by 4.5 inches wide, somewhere in that range. Throw it on the back window of the car where it looks like the Husky's peeking out of the back of the car. You can also make it smaller. You can do it on a pocket on a shirt. But the shirt we're going to make is going to be pretty awesome. I'll show you. And that's what we're going to get at now. So let me get this out of here. And where are we at numbers-wise? Yeah, it's not. That's the awesome part. This material, this reflective material, five-year outdoor life. And honestly, in my opinion, five years is too long. I actually don't want it to last five years because that means they don't have to come back and buy a decal for another five years. I wish it would last like a year. And then next year, they come back and they buy another decal from us, right? We are at 395, 302 likes. Let's go. All right. Um, by the way, the Lake Life, I'm going to try to make another one of these tonight with the Easy Press to see if it works. But the mug has now gone through the dishwasher six times, and it's still perfect, baby. Still perfect. All right. What do we got next? We're going to do a shirt. So don't need app tape here. And for the shirt, we are going to do a two-color shirt. I am going to use some... How many of you have used the matte heat transfer vinyl? Like the, I'm going to use the matte black heat transfer vinyl takes that gloss and shimmer out of it which I think looks really nice and then I'm gonna combine this with one of our reflective probably I might do actually the ocean blue I think I'm gonna do the ocean blue which I think could look pretty sweet as well to mix it in with the matte black I always like to do a mix of medias to make everything look a little bit different something different that Someone with a direct garment machine or screen print transfers or screen prints or can't just do easy, right? They can't just knock out an easy reflective shirt with a matte black shirt, right? Or glitter with reflective and so on. Then accident with stones, whatever we want. So I want to do, and I'm going to bring you guys over here. How are we looking over here, Facebook? We're looking awesome. I love it. 
By the way, Facebook, I'm going to show you guys something. I am always talking to you guys about posting, right? And when I talk to you guys about social media and stuff, when I talk to you guys, Facebook especially, when I talk to you guys about social media, what do I talk about? Like what type of stuff do I say to post on social media? Someone let me know. What type of stuff do I talk about you guys posting? Do I say go on and post all of your sales and post all the things you sell and everything else? Or do I say to go post something different? <coughs> What's up, Trace? How are you? What's up, Dory? <coughs> post puppies. Yes, puppies are definitely a good thing to post. I agree, because I would watch that. Here's the thing, and let me flip around here real quick because I want to see you guys as I'm talking about this real quick. We're going to get a little social media thing going here. Hold on. Instagram, come on around. All right, so here's the thing, and I'm going to hop on TikTok in a minute, Instagram, so we're going to lose you in a minute. But a lot of you are saying post things that you've made or post things that you're doing, okay? Which is it, right? You, you need to post, but... Don't post a shirt, like if I were trying to sell this shirt with the white reflect, I'm not going to say, here's my shirt, go buy it, it's on sale, right? I'm going to just post the shirt and post how awesome the shirt looks. And like um, this one here. If I make a shirt on this here, and let me flip you guys around screen-wise so you can see better. If I posted this shirt right here, okay, if I just posted this and said, man, this is awesome. Check out this cool shirt. And I had uh, Maddie wearing it or Lorene wearing it or something. And say, man, I love this shirt. I love how it reflects and so on. What that's going to do is it's going to get people's attention. It's going to get people to look at it, right? We do. I'm going to do the reflective for the garment, Daddy Brown, in this shirt we're going to make here in a minute. But... If you guys are on Facebook, if you guys are on Instagram, if you guys are on uh, YouTube and you scroll across something that's saying 15% off your first shirt, right? The thing is, is you're probably going to scroll, scroll right by that. Am I correct? You're probably not even going to pay attention to it. Am I right? Because it's someone trying to sell you something. You don't want to deal with that. You want to go see what your friends are doing. However, if you scroll across a shirt that looks pretty badass, right, and you're like, man, that's a cool-looking shirt. I wonder where this person got it from. And then they start asking questions. Where did you get that shirt from? That shirt's awesome. And then the best thing, they share it with their friend. Hey, Betty, check out this awesome shirt. Look what it does when it hits the light. Check out this awesome shirt. Look what this does. If you try to sell them on something, you're probably not going to sell it. If you show them something really cool that catches their attention, let them ask you where to get it. That's how I've always done it. So check this out. And as you guys know, I love to share ideas on things that can save you guys money or do different things, right? So my posts nowadays are a little bit different. I'm teaching you guys who have vinyl cutters, who have heat presses, how to do stuff. Well, check this post out. I just posted this one a few days ago, and I've done a YouTube video on this a couple of years ago, right? And, oh, by the way, there's the Lake Life Cup going in dishwasher number six. That's the black rainbow reflective. <laughs> the slap press and the ass wizard. Yes, Debbie, right? So... And then I, like this, I showed you guys how to make the tubes. But this one right here, okay, the Lake Life one. How many people have I reached? 355 engagements, right? Oh, shoot, screen, my bad, my bad, my bad, gotcha, gotcha. Thanks so, appreciate it. So this one right here, you can see... And pay attention to your analytics and everything on Instagram and on Facebook and everything else, right? How many 
people have I reached with this post right here? I've reached, which means they didn't necessarily interact with it, but I've reached 6,000 people, okay? 6,000 people, and completely free, right? Now, let's scroll down to this one. This one I posted nine hours ago. Again, I've reached 7,500 people, okay? 461 engagements, pretty good, right? <laughs> let's scroll down a little bit more. <clears throat> this one right here, I posted uh, two days ago. I posted this two days ago. Do you guys remember this video? Of Do you remember, how many of you guys have seen this YouTube video or seen me do it in a live too, right? Where if you have a, a screen print transfer that's messed up, okay? A screen print transfer that's messed up, I take a pair of scissors, I scratch the design, I give it a distressed look, and then I, I pour all of the little scatter stuff on it, and it makes a freaking sweet looking shirt, right? I posted this two days ago, okay? This one has 7,500 people reached. This one has 6,000 people reached. This one, because I was sharing an idea that people liked and it's going to save you money and make you more money, right? So it caught your attention. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Look at how many people I've reached. 431,380, uh, almost a half a million people in two days. That's stupid, isn't it? For free. I didn't pay one penny in advertising for this. Not one penny. Now, I haven't updated this. Just to let you know, I, I opened up Facebook when I said I was going to my comments. What was that, 20 minutes ago? So I haven't updated this in 20 minutes, okay? Let's see in 20 minutes what this goes to. 431,386. 431,386. Let me refresh Facebook. In 20 minutes, let's see. And this is where I kind of track it to see if it's still gaining traction. 431,386. 20 minutes later, it is now at... Hopefully, it's at a spot where it updated. 442,033. So, another 11,000 views in 20 minutes. It's crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. So, again, that's the thing is just posting different things. This, I actually love this one. I thought this one was going to get more people reached. It actually got more on TikTok. But um, I was weeding, this is the reflective sign vinyl that I'm weeding in the dark. That's pretty cool, isn't it? We're at 463, let's go. So, and here's an idea. This is the reflective sign vinyl to see what it looks like what I was just showing you, okay? This decal right here. And watch when I turn the lights off what this looks like. As soon as I turn the lights off, and this is what it looks like at night. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? All right, let's get back to this. So, back to... Corel here, and I want to, I've had a couple people ask me, can, so with the pack for tonight, okay, with the pack for tonight, you actually, yes, you get templates that come with it, okay, so when I was scrolling through everything that came with it, okay, um, what, am, what are we out of stock of, we're out of stock of, I think every. I'm pretty sure we're out of every stock, every color, maybe a few feet of black left of the reflective sign vinyl. We ordered a boatload and 
we had no clue it was going to go that crazy. Okay, so we do have more ordered. We do have more ordered, and we were hoping we we're hoping to get it in end of the week or early next week. Okay, so all of the sign vinyl reflective is out. <coughs> so in the pack, you get these different template layouts. Oh, black and orange is left. Awesome. Thanks, six two. You'll get the different layouts, but then all the clip arts as well. The clip arts come in SVG, CDR format, so you can use them in your cameos, your crickets, everything else. So someone was asking, can I use, like I, you saw right there, a template if I have Corel Draw? That's the biggest thing, okay? That's the biggest thing. If I have Corel Draw, I'll show you guys where it is on the site real quick. I see a couple of you trying to get some of those last little bit of black. Go to vinyl and foil, and once you're on vinyl and foil, come over here to TRW Reflex Sign Vinyl. Everybody see it? There's Reflect Heat Transfer Vinyl, there's Reflex Sign Vinyl. Under vinyl and foil, under the featured items. Okay? Now, with this, here's what I'm going to do. The question was, can I use a template from a different pack of yours to build a design? All right? And I'm going to show you how easy that is. Lola J, welcome to the All-Star membership. Just to let you guys know, Major League and All-Stars, Major League and All-Star members, instead of a coupon code this week because we still have our sale going on, you guys know what you guys got this week? Do you know what you got? Let me know. Do you know what you got for your bonus YouTube membership? It's a good one, right? A free training. Yep. Free webinar on Thursday. Free Only YouTube members can go to the webinar. Okay? Only YouTube members. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to open template. And I'm going to run through making this design, okay? I'm going to go to open template. And I've already had a bunch of people ask if they can pay for the training, but we make those exclusive to YouTube members. We do have different paid trainings at times, but I will sh don't worry, all of you guys that aren't members, I'll show you guys at the end where all that is. So I want to go to, I'm going to pull this out of my live templates volume three. So... I'm going to go to TRW Live Templates Volume 3. And what I also want to do is I want to, I think, yeah, yeah, I think we'll pull it out of there. Because I want to take a regular layout, like what was being asked, and combining it with this pack, which is the Animal Peak pack, okay? So let's go and grab, let's see, I had one earlier I used, this one here. So let's use this guy here, and we're going to do this in multiple colors as well. We're going to do a two-color design for this. So with this here, I promised someone here that we were, I was going to, locally, that I was going to make a shirt for him. So... I'm going to come over here, okay, and I'm going to do an animal rescue shirt, okay? So for the animal rescue shirt, I have my template layout, and with my template layout, I'm going to go to find text. I got Braden River, okay, and I'm going to go to, it's uh, Nate's Honor Animal Rescue, okay? So, Nate's, oh, and I want it to be all caps, all caps, N-A-T-E-S, honor, and then animal rescue, and then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to put Bradenton, Florida. Soccer ball, we don't want the soccer ball, so... I'm going to go add artwork, <clears throat> I'm going to go to my animal peak pack, and they wanted for their main one, 
they wanted to do a golden retriever. So I'm going to drop this golden retriever in there. And I've hit add artwork, so it just added the golden retriever. Had I clicked on the soccer ball and hit change artwork, and then came over to my golden retriever, then it's going to swap it out with the soccer ball. All right? Now what I can do, this is where it gets awesome, especially with the wizard side of it. I'm going to take this design, and I want this white to be a little bit thinner, okay? So I can just bring this down a little bit. It, see how it added to those lines right there a little bit so I can see them a little bit better? And then maybe that brownish, the burgundy part, I want that to be a little bit less as well. So I did that there, and that's good to go. Now what I'm going to do is... I don't like the look of this, but first thing I need to do is I need to make the animal rescue. I need to make this cut ready for my vinyl cutter. So to do that, imagine trying to take a design that has two texts, right? Like this has two different texts with contours to make it cut ready in Design Space or Silhouette Studio or other softwares. In our software, you highlight the entire thing. You hit merge three color live text, and I'm done. This is a cut ready file. Literally that quick. Okay? Now, what I can do is I want to take my golden retriever here, make it a little bit larger, and I want it to kind of knock out part of the design here. So, I'm going to bring the golden retriever to the front and See all of these different areas? Watch when I go to wireframe. See this mess right here? That's a mess, right? Check out what I can do with this. I need to clear out a little area there. So I'm going to click on the golden retriever. I'm going to do a little magic boundary. I'm going to do a, a 0 0.07 boundary. And I want to remove shapes behind. So when I click on magic boundary, it just knocked out all of that area. I go to my wireframe, and I have a perfectly cut ready file. <clears throat> that easy. Like literally one click. Okay? So back to our enhanced frame, and we're good to go there. So we wanted to do the ocean blue and the matte black. So I'm going to select my black here. I got all of my black, and I'm going to weld that together. And then I'm going to select my burgundy here. Weld that together, and just to show you something real quick, I'm going to act like I'm doing something different. I'm going to do glitter, and I'm going to throw that in at glitter. And then this, again, is, let's just say, my Caesar Easy Weed and black. Highlight my entire design. Check this out. This is awesome. Come over here to my little money sign. I have $1.89 in actual material cost, Okay. So, I have 82 cents in black heat transfer vinyl, $1.07 in blue glitter heat transfer vinyl for a total of $1.89. Now, I want to show what this looks like on the shirt for the customer. Head over to my mock-ups, women's burnout shirt, click on the shirt, and there it is ready to go. Showing the glitter and everything, right? Now, I come over here, I take my design, 9.9 .9 inches, that's pretty good. I'm good with that. Now, if I have it a little outside, I click on that. With one click, it automatically color separated it, put a weed box around it, and mirrored it for me. So it's good to go. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So this is cut ready. Now, one thing I want to do that's a little bit different, okay? Awesome, Victoria. Thanks for coming by. I'm, I'm just going to do one or two of them tonight, and then I'll finish the shirt later. But we'll cut the... Actually, I want to cut them at the same time, so let me do that. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to open a new page, and I'm going to go add artwork. And I'm going to go to our Animal Peak Pack, which is the pack on sale tonight. They also wanted a lab, so I'm going to take the lab and bring my lab in. And then they also wanted 
a husky, and I'm going to bring my husky in. Let me get that pretty good size there. And then they wanted a chihuahua. So I'm going to go add artwork, and we're going to go to the animal peak pack again, and let me find my little chihuahua here. There we go. And the little chihuahua. So where are we at? 491? Let's go. We Did we go 5? 494, 496. 495. Damn it. Let's go. 502, baby. Let's go. Cameo 4 giveaway tonight. Right there. Hang on, guys. We got a giveaway. Love it. Oh, yes. All right. So what do you guys think I'm going to do with these dogs? What do you think I'm going to do with these? Let me know. And I'm going to make this one about, let's make them all. And some of you guys have seen a, a, a show that I've done at trade shows as well, right? 508, let's go. We get to 600, another, oh, by the way, we need, we're only at 375 likes. Let's get to 400 likes. So I'm at 14.6 inches wide. Let me bring those a little bit closer there, and then this guy a little bit closer here, and 14 inches wide. I think that's going to be pretty good, and we'll just do the front part of the shirt tonight, okay, as far as what I want to do, and you'll see in a minute. So let's go there, vinyl overcut, highlight, copy, and I'm going to bring this over to this page here, and that's going to be black as well. And actually, I probably don't even need them quite that big. And I definitely don't need a weed box for what we're doing. So these I'm going to do in black. Nope, not even a decal. Not even a decal. Yes, you got it, Denise. Nope, not into the other design. You guys will love it, I'm telling you. And some of you, again, who have been to the shows have seen it, right? Some of you have seen it. So... Let's take this part of my design as well, all right? And I'm just going to drop this. And I'm actually going to keep the weed box around this part and drop that there. Now, i got to keep that the exact same size, right? Oh, shoot, but I'm cutting 12-inch. Let's see, 11.1, boom, got it. I forgot I got 12-inch matte vinyl here. I thought I had the 15-inch. So I need to just rotate this quick. All right, so good to go, good to go. All mirror, let's go launch and cut plot CM4. Yes, Alan, you know it, buddy. You know my reindeer games. All right, so four, so I'm going to go probably around 14 or 15. Now, let me bring you guys over Facebook, get you over here. And again, the material I'm going to be cutting is our Caesar matte heat transfer vinyl. So it has that matte look to it. I just love saying it's, they, they named vinyl after me, just matte vinyl, right? I can think that at least, right? All right, good to go there. Let's go one for front edge. Nope, not the sleeve. Good to go with that. Come back over here. And I am, I should be good, but what I want to check real quick, I'm getting ready to hit pause. Just making sure it's not cutting through. So, oh shoot, dang it, screen, screen, let's go screen. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. 400 likes, let's go. So as this is cutting here, okay, I'm going to get the other part of it set up. Now the biggest thing, a lot of you, okay, a lot of you look at this and you try to go back to Corel and it's stuck, right, because you have CM4 open. If I were to come over here and close this down, all right, as long as it reads 
all of the material on there and, and the cut is going. If I come over and I close this down after the fact, I can come back in here and start working on this. So I'm going to go to launch, cut plot CM4, and now I'm ready for my next cut. Feel like I have so much to learn. Hey, that's what we're here for, Victoria. That's why we do these Thursday at noon as well. We have trainings Monday night, 8 p.m. Cameo giveaway Thursday at noon. By the way, I'm going to pick a winner for a mini pack. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to pick a winner for a mini pack tonight on Instagram from the screen print transfer video. So you have to go and tag a friend on the screen print transfer video. Go now. While we're waiting for this, now's the time to go do it. Instagram, the rhinestone world, go tag a friend in the screen print transfer video. And I'll do one on TikTok as well. Same video, screen print transfer video on TikTok. Comment and follow. Yes, we do. So we actually have, just to let you guys know, we have a, um, our reopening sale because we reopened the warehouse last week. So we do have our reopening sale going on right now. Our reopening sale is $5 off Magic Clock, $5 off all vinyls and supplies, 65% off all designs and artwork packs, 15% uh, off all Korean hot fix stones. So we do still have that sale going on and it automatically calculates the discount when you go to checkout. So all of these different vinyls that I'm using, same thing, except for the TRW Reflect, but keep in mind that sale goes on through the month of June and we will have more of the signed vinyl. I'm, I have a boatload coming in, okay? So we will have a lot more of that and I will have that ready before the sale is done. So you'll still get that discount. Daryl Williams, what's up, dude? 50% off vinyl cutters. Oh, Karen. Karen, the biggest thing I recommend when you're cutting your first things of, of Magic Flock or Rhinestone template material, Karen, don't go just straight into cutting a big design, even a mask design. Just cut a bunch of small little squares of circles off the start. Get your settings down, okay? Believe me. You're going to screw up 10 or 15, 20 cuts. So don't screw up big cuts. Screw up little test cuts. All right. So go one here. Yes, basically an actual boatload, Joe. Yes. Not the entire boat, but a boatload. No problem, Amy. Thank you for coming. All right, so got that. Now I need blue TRW Blast. Come here. So this is our TRW Blast Reflect heat transfer vinyl. So it is a reflective heat transfer vinyl. Again, this is 20 inches wide, okay? Obviously, I don't need all 20 inches, but what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually cut this so I don't get another weird cut on it. So I'm going to grab my cutter here real quick. This thing's awesome, by the way. I have it on the products we love on the website. And I am going to get this just so I get a straight cut on it and I know my design wasn't that tall so I'm gonna go about eight inches or so all right good with that so 
Let's go ahead and load this in here, and I'm going to cut this and rotate it vertical as well. <laughs> Matt, it gets pretty crazy around the holidays, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't be giving it all up, Matt. Uh, that's funny. Okay, so obviously I'm hoping my cut settings were good on that, but I got to come over here and I got to rotate this design now because I'm cutting that way. It's mirrored, so I can go ahead and hit send. This is, yes, if you're cutting the brick heat transfer vinyl, oh shoot, you know what? Boom. This is a good thing to know, okay? I just started cutting the reflective. I know that with my dollar 45 degree blade that I need to be cutting the reflective, and I'm going to show you. Check this out. I need to be cutting the reflective at a force of, I think, 18 or, 18 or 19 we were cutting it at before cutting mat fill. So I paused. This is what I love about this cutter. I paused my cut. Okay. I didn't necessarily want to pause it. I want to do cut test. So unpause and cut test. So let's continue job cut test. Stop it. And then force is four and I'm going to move my force up to 19 and enter and menu and now it's cutting so that's one thing i love about this cutter is and i might have screwed it up in that front little part right there if it didn't get enough pressure but almost every other cutter as soon as you start the cut you're screwed right if you forgot to change those settings you can't just pause it and change it on the fly that's what i love about the graph tech is I was able to change that on a fly and have a chance to salvage this cut now because I forgot to change my settings because I cut the easy weed at 14 but I needed to cut this reflective at an 18 or 19. All right and I see I can see all my cut lines good here so I'm going to trim I'm going to turn on my easy press. We're going easy press. This all day long batting gloves. I got Jackson just got some new white batting gloves. So I'm going to use this matte black scrap right here to do his batting gloves. Save that for later. Probably knock those out tomorrow. And how many of you guys here have customized batting gloves? I missed my commercial cutter. Yeah, right? It is. It's such a difference, isn't it? TikTok's not letting some of you get on? Why? What's TikTok doing? Am I in TikTok timeout again? TTO? TTTO? All right, so hopefully I salvaged that. But let me go ahead and get this weeded first. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I use Easy Weed a lot for different shirts that I do. And even for shirts that I do for me, of course. And since Caesar has come out with the matte black, I'll be honest, I have not used the regular black once just because I like the matte black so much better. So, and it depends on your customer, obviously. But me, what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer more of like the glossy look or do you prefer more of like the matte look? Lots of cell service was down today. I love the matte black look. Because in my opinion, the shirt shouldn't be shiny or glossy unless you want it to be. And I know you, like on the camera here, you aren't going to be able to see like the matte finish. 
but I mean, my I did my entire car in matte black. I actually did a matte black metallic, which turned out pretty sweet. All right, so let me get inside cavities here. By the way, does nobody call it inside cavities? Am, am I the only one that does that? I got made fun of the other day for saying weeding out the inside cavities. Is that wrong to say? Does anybody else hear like the inside of an A and an R? Do you consider that an inside cavity? Oh, that, that's crazy how quick the heat press heats up, the easy press. It was on the live here when you guys were making fun of me, wasn't it? Did he say inside cavity? He does all the time. That's what they are. Okay, thank you. You guys had me thinking about that after the live the other day. Making me second guess myself. I don't second guess myself, damn it. All right, good to go there. Let's get this blue out. Hopefully we saved it. Every time you say inside cavities, I think of teeth. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Okay, so I can see my area where I wasn't getting enough or where I didn't get enough pressure. So this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting to see if I was able to salvage this cut or not. Hopefully I was. I just say weeding. That doesn't sound much better either, does it? I always had to be careful with that funny story. So when I was the decal world, okay, when I was the decal world and I was the baseball coach, so a lot of you guys know the different stories here. Let me get you over here so you can see. A lot of you guys know the different stories that I've told of I would have some of my baseball players. They would come over when I would have big fundraising orders. And they, oh, yep, there's the spot right there. Let me see if I'm going to be able to salvage this. I'll try and hold it down and see if it gets it. Um, I would have my baseball players come over, some of them, and they would help me weed. But I had to be really careful kind of what I said because the players couldn't really go to their parents and say, I'm, I'm going over to Coach Vasallo's house to weed because that might get me fired from teaching, right? Probably not a good look. So I always used a word other than weed when it came to um, my high school baseball players. I didn't feel like getting fired, even though we were weeding, like our weeding. My comments are freezing up again. Uh, all, I, all I used to say was to come over and help me make decals, is what I said. Because there, is there really another word other than weeding? There isn't really another word. I get in trouble for TikTok on that, too. I got, um, I've gotten multiple posts taken down on Facebook because I'll cut Magic Flock. And I'm not going to lie, I, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you, I did it on purpose because I thought it had a chance of making my video more viral, but I cut, you'll, you guys hear me say it a lot, I cut my, uh, the Magic Flash template material and I say the perfect weed. And obviously I'm talking about it weeding perfect with the circles, but who knows, it might get more views. 
All right, so I'm getting my inside areas here, but this, these little spots right here is where I know that it wasn't cutting for the full force. So I just got to be careful with these because they, you have to honestly weed it perfect because we don't have a lot of space to work with on this design. Okay, I think I'm going to be able to salvage it. Um, hey, I'm not going to lie to you because I pay attention to my analytics on different posts a lot and compare posts. And just to give you a hint, the, the posts where I use that phrase, the perfect weed, and it showed me weeding material, got more views than a post where I didn't say that. This is crazy. I, I can't believe that. Uh, look at that. Can you guys even see that little line that it weeded perfect right there? What is making decals code for? <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so, and then this area right here is another area that where the, I'm just paying attention to where my first couple cuts were because I can tell that this didn't cut through quite as good, but it got it. Got that there. And then, ooh, this is going to be tough here. Hopefully this got it with a regular cut. Oh, it did. Sweet. Okay. I was going to be worried if that one didn't get the full, uh, the full pressure. All right. So check this out. Look at that small little A area right there. <laughs> you got it, Derek. No problem, buddy. <laughs> All right, inside areas, inside cavities. Now that I'm allowed to say it again, my inside cavities here. So we are good. Nate's honor animal rescue. Oh, shoot, I just picked that up. Oh, there it is. I just picked it up and lost my little A there for a second as I picked it up, but I found it. This guy. Needs to go right here. Get back down there. It's so small, it doesn't even really have a spot to stick to. Got it. All right. Now, this is going to be a little different with the Easy Press because I haven't done the reflective with the Easy Press yet. But what I do need to do is I need, need to get a new, what we call, You know what this is? This is an easy press pressing pad, only available at the rhinestoneworld.com or anywhere you want on Amazon or Foamies. They were super cheap. I think they were like 50 cents each or something. But these little foamy things are freaking awesome. And you guys have seen me use them like for sleeves and stuff and for putting for pressing pads instead of pillows, but it's also a great for your easy press to get even pressure on it. So, good to go. I need a shirt. Oh shoot, you know what? Where are my other doggies? Oh, here they are. I almost forgot my other doggies, hold on. We still got our other doggies here. I forgot I trimmed them off. There'll be a quick little weed. Let me see the questions as they're coming in here. Let me scoot over here so you guys can see and I can see the questions. Um, got some from Walmart, awesome. Yeah, they're awesome. Get them wherever you want. I, I have them on the products we love, but wherever you guys find them, grab them. They're awesome. 
You bought the foamies too, Nicole? <laughs> Matt, I haven't seen most of the comments, but if you're saying the comments are great and Todd's not even here, I'm guessing it is since it's 940, we have moved to a PG-13 show. Hopefully we're not at rated R. You guys let me know if anybody needs to go to timeout. I got my timeout stick. Um, quality blank t-shirts. Um, there's so many places. Um, Alpha Broder, Sanmar. Um, if you don't have a resale certificate, a lot of people use Jiffy Tees. So that's a good one as well. That's one that honestly, when I very first started, I used as well just because they got good prices and you don't need a resale certificate. All right, let me get my little inside areas here. Boom. Come on, little chihuahua. So we actually had, when Lorreen and I met, she had a little chihuahua named Lacey, and I had a chocolate lab named Bailey, and unfortunately, neither of them are with us anymore. So we have Bling and Wrigley now. But Lacey was, and I think she was lived to be 16. So it was a good life for her. Let's get the tongue here. Boom, inside of the nose. Ooh, small little area here. Oh, uh, weeded, that weeded perfect. See how much easier the eyes are weeding with heat transfer vinyl versus signed vinyl? That's just the difference of heat transfer vinyl and the sticky backing. I use Jiffy as well, I used to buy from Virginia. Uh, now, depending on what state you're in, if you can, every one of you, if you can, Hush. Get a resale certificate, and then you're going to get shirts for even a lot less expensive at some of the bigger manufacturers. So if you can, and like in Florida at the time, I think a resale certificate for me was around $150. So if you're buying a decent amount of shirts, it's going to pay for itself in no time, right? Shirt space is great, awesome. That's what I love about these lives as well is everybody can share all the different places that are good and work for them. All right, coming along the side here. And you can see the, the matte black Easy Weed, like always, like the regular Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl, super easy to weed. Good to go. All right, got those there, got this here. Let's go ahead and press this shirt. So I'm going to trim these away from each other because I'm going to spread them out a little bit more, and I'm going to do the front of it. So are we at six bills, 600 tonight? Is that what I'm talking about? Let's go. I need to make a, a 600 icon, don't I? Let's go. All right, so I need a shirt. Ooh, now, my friends over at Bella always hook me up. So great shirts. My customers always loved them. So it's what I use for my sample shirts as well. So you can see I'm just dropping that pad kind of back behind there and then using this as kind of my location. So let me bring you guys over so you can see a little bit better Facebook. All right, let me get you pointing down a little bit here. Facebook, all right, can you guys see better now, Facebook? That should be good. So good with that, and then I'm gonna come over for my quick little pre-press. And that's good. Pull all the moisture, all the wrinkles out of it. And now let's grab my designs here. So I'm going to go with the black. 
and the blue. I'm going to go with the reflective first, okay, because it's the outside part of my design. So looking at my left edge, looking at my right edge, that looks pretty good there. A little bit off the left, a little bit off the right, just like if you were in a regular heat press. Looking at my armpits right across the middle of the design, check down here, and I look at that, and I say that looks pretty good. Now, before I press it, I like to come over here and just kind of hover this over it just for a second, and it looks like it's lining up nicely, so I'm good with that. Now, this is where I honestly haven't used the Cricut a ton, okay? So when I come over here, I can't get this entire design. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go for about six to seven seconds on this side, and then I'm going to come over here and hit this for about six to seven seconds. Um, I got the masks that I got from TSF. TSF. So I'm going to let it cool just a little bit. And the biggest thing, I don't mind if the material pulls up a little bit here. And the reason why is, if anything, I wanted to underpress it. OK? So I'm slowly peeling this away just to make sure that we're all good and it's stuck enough, which it looks like it did. I'm hoping I didn't overpress it. So. Who knows what happens if you overpress your first color? What's going to happen if you overpress your first color? Jiffy has a mask too. Awesome. So if you overpress your first color, what actually happens is everything shrinks a little bit. Yes. You get shrinkage. You don't want shrinkage. Okay. So what we're going to do, and where you notice if you get that, is it's a pain in the butt to line up, right? It's a pain in the butt to line up. <laughs> Timothy and Latasha, it blocked you. I see your comment there, and it blocked it. <laughs> All right, well, we are now past... I guess I shouldn't have said it that way. We are now past the PG-13 stage. <laughs> you guys are freaking killing me tonight. All right. So it looks like we got a little shrinkage. So I'm just going to kind of push it in just a little bit here. All right, damn it. Really, I can't even talk now because everything I say, you guys are going to have fun with. So I'm going to stop. Oh, you guys are killing me. All right. Looks good. So see, I just had to move it around just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. So good to go with that. Now I got one little piece right here that is the eyeball from one of the dogs. It would have pressed to my design. So that looks amazing. Good there. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go cover sheet with this. And only because, oh, I don't want this cover sheet, though. I got something on it. See my little area that's exposed? So because I have that little area exposed, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to cut off a little piece of my carrier sheet from the other one. And now let's go ahead and press. Um, the blue is actually the TRW Blast, the ocean blue. It's the ocean blue. And then let's come over to this side. And we're good to go. So I honestly didn't even realize it. I just looked, and that's why I did less. Oh, man, that's, this matte black looks so sweet. I'm loving that matte black. Can you guys really even tell that it's like a matte black? See how it has no shine to it? It's just a flat black. And by the way, look at how freaking good. It's almost like I've done this before. Look at how good that all lined up.
right? Um, I actually haven't used, this is the first time I've used the Cricut in a long time. So a lot of people that have the Cricut, I just, because I've been using the regular press, I've been using the uh, Cricut press as well. All right, so now what I'm going to do, check this out. Oh, I probably can't just lay that on the press. That was dumb. Let's come over here. I'm going to go to the bottom of my shirt here and put my little pressing pad down there. That looks good to go. And check this out. Come over with a quick little pre-press. And again, temperature-wise, I need to go down a little bit. I'm at 330, and I should be at about 305 for this. And then I'm going to drop the little lab right here. Some of you guys weren't expecting this, were you? And then we'll probably just drop the little chihuahua in the middle. So I'm going to go lab first. And again, because my pressure was still up at like 325, I went for about eight seconds. And then let's scoot this over a little bit. And let's go with my little chihuahua in the middle. And let's make sure this guy is going to line up good too. Ooh, got a little bit of the blue on there. Let me get that out of there. Oh, that's going to look good. That's going to look good. All right. Come back here. That's good to go. And... Let's get the husky here as well. Boom. Looks pretty evenly spaced. Um, the lives are normally um, normally about an hour and a half. We went a little bit longer in this one. We're going to go pick some winners here in a minute. All right. So let me head over here and show you guys what we got here. So this is our front design here. Pretty sweet, isn't it? So ocean blue, TRW blast reflect, matte black with the matte black on the bottom as well. And then as soon as this, again, hits the lights, that blue is just going to pop. All right. So let's go turn this baby off. Facebook, let me get you guys back over here. I'm going to plug you guys in because battery's getting low. All right. And let's flip our screen back over here. All right. So, and I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The full color decal, this one right here, this was with our reflective sign vinyl, right? Reflective sign vinyl. And then the ocean blue blast. Look how much that pops, too. That's what I really love about it. That ocean blue pops, but then once it hits the light as well, looks freaking amazing. I'll do a lights on, lights off test on YouTube or on uh, Facebook as well. Johnny. <laughs> All right. So I see a lot of you asking, okay? And let me go in and show you guys real quick. So when you're on the website, I'm switching over to my screen now. When you're on the website, go to the main page. This is the reopening sale. 
65% off designs, 15% off stones and studs, 5% off diamond cut stones, supplies and vinyls, and $5 off magic flock, right? Now, the actual pack that's on sale, $100 off tonight plus 65% off of that, what that is is this right here. And I will show you. And by the way, does everybody know about the free wizard training tomorrow with Sean? Sean has design wizard overview number four tomorrow from 7 to 8.30. It's completely free. Make sure you get there. Any of you who are wizard owners or thinking about getting the wizard, there you go. What's up, Kim Johnson? Tell Paisley hi. Paisley isn't pissed. So, free one. There you go. Now, the pack for tonight. Go to Featured, Featured Supplies. Okay? Animal Peak Pack. Normally $299. Marked down to $199. If I add this to my cart, <coughs> I go proceed to checkout. And let me take off this other stuff, let me get rid of that, and $69.65. $69.65 for that entire pack. Just to let you know, there's 444 clip art in that pack. 444 clip art in that pack, all right? So how many actual, how much is that per clip art? Like 25 cents or something? Right? Um, the shirt I actually made for a local uh, animal rescue in the area here. I told him I would make him one, so I figured it would be good for the live tonight. <clears throat> All right, so that right there, there you go. The vinyls that I used were my regular reflective vinyl. We are currently out of stock, but we will be getting more in either at the end of this week or later this week. Okay. And the, I think we have most just the gunmetal, the gunmetal, the um, graphite, and we might be out of the black rainbow now too for the heat transfer vinyl. Okay. All right. I'm ready to go. You guys ready for the giveaways? Let's get it. <clears throat> okay, the Instagram giveaway is going to be on this post right here. 16 cents each. 16 cents. So basically, this husky is 16 cents. 16 cents for that husky. Probably worth it, right? So this one here, did you guys all get your comment on this post right here? Hopefully you did, because I'm going to go pick the winner right about now. So I'm pulling in the new comments, and our winner is going to be the 10th one down. One, two, three, and we got, oh, I got to add more. Here, hold on. Add and add. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cammy Campbell, seventy-three. This is awesome. What a great trick, Cammy Campbell. Cardinals are not very good, but winner of a mini pack of choice. Let me take a picture of it, Cammy. Instagram winner of a mini pack of choice. Congrats, Cammy. Come on, photo. Oh, got to unlock it. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to TikTok. Next giveaway is on TikTok from the same video for a mini pack of choice. And we are going to go here. And that same video, it now has, let's see, 44 different comments. 
scrolling through and the winner for the mini pack of choice is this person right here. I got Creative Expressions Gifts. Creative Expressions Gifts. You are the winner for a mini pack of choice. I'm typing to you now. Congrats. You are the winner of a mini pack of choice. And what else do you get? I am going to be your third follower. Boom. There we go. Congrats. Now, we have four mini packs from YouTube. Four mini packs from YouTube. Let's go ahead and pick our YouTube winners. I need to come over here and scroll through. And the, take my comments here. And I'm just going to go completely random, like right off the start here. Remember, no spamming, right? No spam rule. Here we go. I'm going to scroll through. I'm going to highlight the top name and then the three names underneath that. If I see your name on the screen more than two times, you are disqualified, okay? More than two times and you are disqualified from the actual winning, okay? So I'm going to let you guys get your comments going again, but don't just copy and paste because someone's going to be pissed if they win the Silhouette Cameo and they're disqualified from it, right? All right, here we go. Picking the mini pack winners in five, four, three, two, one, and we're going right there. So I have Susan Bellestrine, Linda Dillinger, South End Owls, and Jesse Gibson are four winners for a mini pack of choice are Susan, Linda, South End, and Jesse. Congratulations to all of you guys. And now we got one more. One more, right? And the last one is to pick a winner for a silhouette cameo, okay? I see a lot of you guys that are Major League and All-Star members were asking where you find the uh, deals. Just go to, on the YouTube channel, go to the Community tab. On the Community tab, this is where you'll click on that, and you'll see the link for the free pre premium webinar and your free design, okay? All-star members, you get the free gone fishing design, the free font, the free hibiscus rhinestone design, and the free webinar. Again, to become a member, you just click on the join button. You get new perks every single week. Little League, Major League, and all-star members. All right? All right. Here we go. Um, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promised you guys I would show you. The fr everybody that Does everybody here know about the free designs? If you go to the Featured tab on our website and then go scroll down to Design a Day Giveaway. Okay? Design a Day Giveaway. All three of these designs are free right now. You don't have to buy anything. Go in. You download them. Completely free. We are listing a new free design every single day we've done it for three months straight what are we up to in designs now like 85 or something 86 so i think we've given away like 86 free designs and you don't ever have to purchase or spend one penny okay but you have to go each day because they swap out okay so anybody that hasn't gotten their free designs yet or don't know about it, it's an SVG download. You can go get them each day. All right. Here we go. I got to find our video here so all of our comments are updated. So let's go home. And here is our live. Here are our comments. 
and here we go. I'm going to give you guys about 10 seconds to go ahead and, and again, whatever name I highlight, the top, if it highlights three names, it doesn't matter. The top name that I highlight is the winner for the Silhouette Cameo 4, okay? But remember, if your name's up there more than twice, I see a few, of, I see a few spammers on here right now. If your name is on there more than twice, you're disqualified. MB Camp BZ, you're freaking awesome. Thank you. Appreciate the support. All right. Picking the winner in five, four, three, two, one, go. And our winner is this person right here. I got Pick Me Matt, I Love You, Clayton. Clayton. Fernandez. Fernandez, right? It looked like it was going to be something different, but it's just Fernandez, right? Fernandez. Clayton Fernandez. Clayton, if you are here, you need to verify that you are here. And Clayton, you are the winner of the Silhouette Cameo 4. Everybody, please keep an eye out for Clayton. Keep an eye out for Clayton. I, we need confirmation. Confirmation that Clayton is here. I got confirmation. Yes, we do. Clayton, congratulations. Appreciate your support and all of you here. Every single Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Sorry we went a little long today. That shirt got a little crazy. But normally we pick the winner around 9.30 or so. But appreciate all of you guys, 600 plus of you here. I'm going to stay here and answer some questions for you guys like I do every time, okay? I'm going to stay here and answer some questions. But Clayton, congratulations. We will have another training on Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, okay? 12 noon Eastern, we'll have another training. So definitely come by. I will get that listed on the website tomorrow for you guys to be able to find it and see it. But... Now it's just a matter of hook me up with some questions that you guys have. Facebook, let me get you guys up here. And what we got? Give me some questions. What can I help you guys with? Yes, the, the coupons are automatic. So if you wanted that ocean blue reflective heat transfer vinyl I just used, just to let you know, it's 5% off right now and the discounted price. So if you get 15 feet, then it's 5% off of the discounted price. So yes, definitely. Um, all designs and packs are 65% off right now through the entire month. What does it mean when the wizard says out of stacks? Ooh, Peggy, email, let me know. Email that in, I haven't seen that. Is that purple a new color in the reflective? <clears throat> um, which purple? I didn't. I don't think we have a purple yet. Oh, the Berry Blast? No. We've had the Berry Blast for a while. And that is... Where is my um, sheet? Oh, here. Yeah, the Berry Blast we've had for a while. Um, Brian, I don't even touch them. I, I go just straight default settings on them, Brian. Because, now, acceleration, I will move up some. But the emulation, I just, I don't even, I keep it straight default because I'm using the vinyl overcut feature. And all those do is they confuse people. So acceleration, if I want to get a quick cut, I'll bump it up to two or three. Just got the TRW Wizard. I need, a, awesome, Nate. Appreciate your support. Um, just got the wizard, loving it. Awesome, Patricia. Thank you, Patricia. Make sure to go to the free training tomorrow. I'm trying to do a video with Reflective, but I think I'm doing something wrong. Do I turn out the lights? Um, Terry, the easiest way, it's, here's where the Reflective, it's hard to see like the Reflective, okay? What you need to do is you need to, oh, I think I know what you're asking too, Terry. So if you're doing a video with your phone, Terry, 
what you need to do is you need to start the video, turning off this light so it isn't as bright. So you need to start the video like this, and you'll be able to see kind of with the black rainbow. And say, hey, I'm show you this reflective heat transfer vinyl and how awesome it is. You can't turn on your light while your video is on. So then you got to stop the video, scroll up and turn on your light, and then keep videoing. And this is what it looks like when the lights are on. So I think that's what you're asking, but as you're recording, at least on the iPhone, you can't turn on your light in the middle of your record. So you have to stop the recording, turn on your light, and then continue talking. Uh, free to, um, a, a good free software to get started with that you can use all of our SVG files is, um, oh man, brain fart. Um, Oh, God, I was just messing around with it today. Hook me up, guys. What? Um, Inkspace. God, why couldn't I think of that? Inkspace is a good free software to get started with. <laughs> Um, need a pack of rhinestones and vinyls and a starter pack. Elisa, if you have any questions, just give them a call at the warehouse tomorrow. <coughs> Let them know what you want to do, and they'll be able to push you kind of to the best starter pack. Because we have a bunch of different types of starter packs, and they'll be able to kind of push you to the best one of what would work best for you. Because you don't want to just go buy some huge pack that you may not use everything in, right? The wizard does work with Corel 2020. Yes, it does. I'm going to start my own business. I'm from Venezuela. Can you help me? I'm a graphic designer. <clears throat> the hardest thing being in Venezuela is just finding a supplier over there. Like you can learn everything from all of our videos. <clears throat> you can order vinyls and stuff from us. Obviously, the wizard and designs and everything you can get from us, the download files. It's just expensive to ship, obviously, heat transfer vinyls and stuff over there. <clears throat> but swear but I have saved files to SVG and then I can open them in Cricut Design Space. Yes. Yes. So you're going to export it as an SVG, Cheryl, and then open it in Design Space. Just to, The only thing you're using Design Space for is to cut. Um, the EPUB files, the... The reason why we don't even have those anymore is because the service that we used back then was really inexpensive and they switched to a different place and they wanted to charge like $300 a month for the EPUB file. So we completely stopped it. It was, it was ridiculous. Nicole, awesome. Appreciate it. And thank you for sending in the video. I got to check it out. Um, the the TrueViz, yes, the TrueViz VG2 is, Irv is our, our Roland Versicam guy. So, and I think Irv was here earlier. I'm not sure if he still is, but that's the one that Irv said is the one right now. The TrueViz VG2. So, yes. Just bought the Mega Pack. Awesome. Thank you, VA Mac. Hey, Gary, that's it. I, I, I understand. And that's the thing, Gary. Get out there and find some different... I mean, the hard thing is, and like you're going through, I'm sure, right now, Gary, is with all this craziness going on, this is why I really, really, and for the honestly, for the past probably six, seven years, I've been stressing this, is that every single one of you, if you're doing this for a business... You have to be online. Lexi, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for following. And glad I'm helping. But every one of you have to be online. Because who would have ever thought? Who could have even ever imagined the craziness going on right now? Right? Oh, no. Facebook just died. They're good, though. Um... Who could have ever imagined 
the craziness going on right now. And that's the thing. Like, had I just been a storefront and my storefront closed, there's no income, right? And believe me, I know a lot of people who that happened to, right? And I'm sure some of you here. And that's why you have, not only just for the fact that you can reach millions of people instead of thousands of people, right? Millions. Look at my Facebook post. It's almost reached a half a million people already just on Facebook. But every single one of you, and believe me, it's like anything. It's not easy, okay? Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all of that stuff is is very difficult to do. It's very time-consuming, just like creating an online website is very time-consuming. But if you stick with it, all of the successful ones are the ones who have been sticking with it and doing it. It's, it may take two years, three years, five years. But if you do stick with it, you're, it's, you're going to see your business grow. There's no way it cannot grow. Okay, but it's not going to happen right away. And for some people, it has happened right away, and they just struck gold, right? But many, it does not happen with right away, correct? And I'm sure a lot of you out there know that. I'm trying to, I'm refreshing my Facebook here real quick just to see. Hold on, let me see if I can switch to, just to see. What were we at, like 440,000? Just to see if this is still going up right now. Give a shout out to Alex. Awesome, Johnny. Appreciate it. So now it's 452. So it's gone up another 11,000, right? 10,000, 11, four, almost 453,000. It's crazy. Um, how much do I charge for a three-layer reflective decal? Shoot, that one, I, it would have to be at least $15, because, and mainly because of your time and labor. Now, what I would recommend is do a one-color decal, and we're going to actually probably get some of this and stock it eventually as well. If you have a Versacam, you can do printable reflective. So I could print all this entire dog pack in a reflective. And I'll get, show you an example. Of these are just for t-shirt designs. So I was testing out some of the reflective and switch to my main screen here. These are all a printable reflective, but this is heat transfer vinyl. Okay, so these are all going to be like a center shirt design. And I test it out for the print quality, test it out for the washability and everything. And if I'm going to test something out, I'm not selling it. I'm not selling a design, but go Cubbies, baby, right? So don't ask for the design. Don't ask if you can buy a shirt. I would, I would never sell a shirt for, if someone said I want to pay a thousand dollars for you to make me this cub shirt i'm telling you i would say no because again you're not allowed to do that you can't profit and so many people out there doing disney stuff please please don't because i promise you eventually you will get in trouble and everything that you worked for will be gone in one day No, you can't, AC. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. It's not worth it at all. Not at all. Oh, the mouse doesn't play at all, right? Uh, and it's crazy. I, I've, I've, I've honestly, I'm telling you guys, I've seen it happen to businesses. And it's, it's heartbreaking because... I see businesses and they've worked and even businesses that have been customers of ours that have I know have been customers and I could care less that the part of 
they're not buying vinyl from me anymore. I'm more worried about it's affecting their family and putting food on the table. And, and the ones that really hurt me to see are when someone will say, Matt, I'm finally retiring from my job because I'm making enough with my business now. Oh, no, they're not the only ones at all. Heck no. Harley Davidson's not. Uh, they're, most of them are, and they should be. But I see, and they'll tell me that, and I'll go, to, and I, I look at a lot of your guys. And I, I know a lot of you guys don't know, but I'll go to your different, when you guys comment on stuff, and I see names that I recognize, I'll go to your Instagram account, I'll go to your TikTok account, and I'll go to your Facebook account and stuff and see what you're doing. Now, again, it's not my place to go on there and say, don't make Disney designs or don't, hey, you do what you want to do. I'm not going to tell you what you're allowed to do or what you can do with your business, but I'm telling you, you don't want to do that. And I've seen, I've seen multiple businesses who have, and they've quit their day job, and then they'll message me or call me or, or whatever or be on a live a year later and they're shut down. And not only are they shut down, they are literally, they're giving back all of that money. Right? It's crazy. So that's, I mean, that's why I knew I never wanted to build my, even though I knew I could, and believe me, when I first started, it was freaking super tempting. And every one of you guys know that, right? Can you make me a Disney shirt? Can you make me a, a Mickey Mouse birthday shirt? Can you make me a, a cub shirt? Can you make me this? And it's tempting because when you're first starting your business, you're not making a lot of money and you don't have a lot of customers. But as soon as you make that customer one shirt, the good thing, but also the really, really bad thing they're going to go to a game. Someone's going to see that awesome cub shirt. And they're going to say, where did you get it? And then you're going to get more people and then more people and then more people and then more people. Uh, got prosecuted for fraudulent printing. Oh, Brando. Yeah. I didn't see that one, but I'll have to go check it out. Brando's a good dude. Um, yeah, guys, just don't do it. You're better off not having a business. Better off not having a business. And... It's, it's going to be nice. You're going to make some money, and then eventually you're going to get caught. But they aren't going to catch you when, you when you're selling 50 things on Etsy and eBay. They're going to catch you when it's successful and you think you're getting away with it. Right? I received a cease and desist letter several years ago from Varsity Student Worlds in the hashtag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for cheer? Lisa? Ooh, yeah. They don't mess around, right? What type of vinyl do you recommend for t-shirts? Um, Juan, all of the vinyls, heat transfer vinyls on our website, Juan. So we carry, our, we have some of our own TRW vinyl and then the Caesar heat transfer vinyl. What about the people selling Etsy stuff or Disney stuff on Etsy? It sucks, doesn't it, Suzanne? Because you sit there and you look at it and you're like, no, nah, this sucks. They're selling this stuff and they're getting away with it and it sucks. But they're not going to get away with it forever. And who knows, they might get away with it for 10 years. But then they're going to be living large, they're going to be making some good money, and it's all going to go away. Um, not Oh, yeah. Oh, believe me, they will. And... A and, C, A and C, what probably happened with that, not true, I sold five shirts on eBay and my listing was re removed, and yes, so believe me, th there are some smaller places that will come get you right away, or what happens a lot is other people will turn you in, okay? <clears throat> so, and I never did this again, even at this time, I didn't care, I didn't, everybody, hey, do what you want to do, okay? But here's the thing, is I got to the point, because I wanted to do it right, when I was the decal world, we had what was called a local license. So we had a local license for the University of Florida 
University of Miami, Florida State, University of Central Florida, and University of South Florida. We had five schools. For, and this was probably eight years ago. For five schools, okay, just to be able to make car window decals, all I could make from those schools, I was able to make two different things. One of them was car window decals. I could make rhinestone car window decals. I had to pay, okay, depending on the school, okay? So, for example, at University of Florida, it was $10,000 plus 12% royalties on every one I sell. At University of South Florida, it, their smaller school, I think it was $5,000. At Miami, it was $7,500. At Florida State, it was $10,000. Just to sell decals, I had probably $50,000 in, okay? So think about this. How pissed do you think I was eight years ago when I'm paying close to $50,000 just to have the rights to be able to sell these? And eight, eight, 10 years ago, only eBay was around, right? And I'm looking on eBay, seeing see everybody sell these things for like five bucks when I'm trying to sell them for 20 bucks. And they're all selling them for five bucks and getting away with it. That's, it kind of pisses you off a little bit now, but imagine if you invested $50,000 to be able to sell them and then you see people selling them, right? Um, so you mean that we can't embroider or make a decal of Disney on TV? That's correct, you cannot. Yeah. Oh yeah, overseas. Yeah, heck yes. And the overseas stuff is crazy because you'll bring stuff in, not even know, not even know that there's a trademark or any type of patent or anything on it, and you'll get it all, you'll be selling it, and then you'll get sued, not even knowing that you're doing anything wrong. Like, people are doing Disney stuff, unless they just are brand new and have done no research, they know they're doing something wrong. Give me a one, force all the way up to 33, not cutting clean. Oh, Janessa, stretch is a pain in the butt. Is it like um, dotting it almost, Janessa? Is that what it's doing? It, that's honestly, I've, I've heard that from a lot of people with the cameo and the stretch. Is it kind of almost like it's skipping? You got it, SP, thank you. Um, we do, Jake, yeah. It could be a dull blade and that's happening, but I, Janessa, I think you got that blade pretty recently, right? Yeah, technically, like, here's the thing that I love is, and this is not allowed, okay? Here's the thing that I love. It looks clean, but when I weed it, it just pulls and doesn't cut. Blade is two weeks old. So it's not the blade. Check the blade. Make sure there's not a chip or anything on it. But it's. I hate saying this because I hate blaming something on It doesn't matter what the blade is. The stretch is more difficult to cut just because of the way the material is made. And it's basically the stretch combined with the Cameo. I've heard a lot of people have different issues. So you can try a 60 degree blade as well, yeah. But, and it's not even because the stretch isn't thick. It's just the th stretch moves so much. It's actually a really thin material. It's a pain in the butt, yes, Janessa. Um, but here's what I was gonna say, okay? Is, I'll see people do this all the time. They'll do a Mickey Mouse design or they'll put Mickey Mouse on a cup or something and they'll say, go get the free download from my website for personal use. Do you really think you're allowed to do that? Do you really think you're allowed to, because you're doing it for a reason. You're still using the Mickey Mouse logo and the Mickey Mouse 
to try to gain customers, to try and gain followers, right? Even though you're not selling it, you're still infringing, okay? If Disney gives you the free design and says you can make some shirts for yourself, right? Exactly, Kristen. You're still, even though you aren't technically profiting money you are though because you're gaining customers who are now purchasing from you yeah those people are they'll all eventually get caught Cheryl that are selling SVG Disney files for personal use only again they'll they will get caught a lot quicker than even the people making the finished products because they're going to have a lot more people that are buying from them. <laughs> oh, yes, Allie, that's my favorite one as well. Oh, I love this conversation. <laughs> How many of you guys have seen this one? Allie, I love it. How many of you guys have seen Disney-inspired as long as I just say I was inspired by Disney to sell and make money on their logo, then I'm not actually infringing on it because it's not really their logo. I was just inspired by their logo. So I can sell it now. That kills me. I love that one. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Disney and, and they put and Alan they do that exact same thing like just like you did they put inspired in quotes <laughs> Tom appreciate the support you're a freaking all-star dude <clears throat> Disney ish so here's the other thing guys is the um, the shoot what was I gonna say um, dang it I just forgot. I had something good, too. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot what it was now. It'll come back to me. Yeah, Matt. It's only three. So it isn't really a Mickey Mouse. I just put three circles together and made it look exactly like Disney logo. Um, what perks come with the membership? So with the membership, every single week, you get a free font, you, a free font that we put for download. You get a free brand new design. You get a free existing design. And then you either get a coupon code or all type. Like this week you're getting a free live training. So every single week there's new stuff. Um, I Nicole, I, I already have that in my plans. I haven't forgot about that, Nicole. I'm going to test it first. Okay, I'm going to test it first. I'm already testing out um, reflective, layered on reflective, but I'm going to test out, and I have that plan for tomorrow, reflective over this, and then number, oh, Alan's number crunching for me. All-star members get $37.50 in free files plus two free webinars this much and have received $105.10 in free perks so far this month. Alan, my man, on fire. So there you go. For All-Star, if you're looking at, so $105 so far this month, plus the two free webinars, which are normal, $10 to $15 each. And the it's $19.99 for the month. Or 20, 24, I was looking into that with YouTube. I'm still looking into it as far as some people are getting that. And I'm trying to figure out if it's just taxes or what. Um, does the wizard only work in Corel Draw? It does. Yes. Um, for the stones, is there a minimum? No. You can buy a. I guess there's a ten gross, which is one thousand four hundred and forty stones. And then you can go all the way up to a 500 gross. Um, the transfer material, Karen, yeah, it is. I 
think I have some here. Karen, this is the hotfix transfer tape. It has the white backing with the little bumps on it. That's for your rhinestones. All right, you know what time it is, guys? I'm going to do this. I'm not scared. You know what I'm going to do? We still have 392 of you here at 10.35 p.m. I'm going to give away two more mini packs just because. Just because. Two more mini packs of choice. Let's go. Amy D, appreciate the support, Little League member. Thank you. AC, you know where I got these glasses. Amazon. I think it was a, I got a 10 pack for 12 bucks or something stupid. <laughs> I lose glasses every other day. So I bet you if I looked around the house, I would find like 20 pairs of glasses. I will not buy expensive glasses. All right, let me bring this down. I got them on a crazy deal. It was like, a, it might have been Amazon Prime Day last year. I think it was Amazon Prime Day, and it was like a 10-pack for 12 bucks, and I got three of them. I got 30 pairs of glasses. That's how bad I am at losing them. All right. By the way, is everybody here a, not even, I'm not worried about the member side of it. Let's do this. I'm giving away too many packs if I change my mind. I'm allowed to do that, damn it. You can't tell me different. Here's the deal. I just changed my mind. You need to unsubscribe. Everybody here needs to come over and subscribe. Heading over here. YouTube channel. You need to come over and you need to subscribe to the YouTube channel right now. And then there should be, I'm going to go here. Hold on one second. I'm going into incognito mode. And when you are on YouTube, I don't, I'm not saying go be a member. Okay, that's up to you guys. Do that if it makes sense to you. But if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure to come in and subscribe. Okay. So you have to be signed in and then make sure also on your phone that you're getting notifications because anytime that I do go live, it'll send you an alert to remind you Monday night at 8 p.m. or Thursday at noon or whatnot. And I know most of you here are, are subscribed already, so I appreciate you guys. But all of you newbies, let's go. Let's go. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. All right, you guys ready for another giveaway? Two, two more mini packs. Let's do two more mini packs. So I need to, we're on the screen here, so we're good to go. And we are about to do this. So. What we are going to do, I'm going to scroll through, same rules as always, apply, and we are going to find out who our two mini pack winners of choice are in five, four, three, two, one, and our two. And I'm going to highlight the top name and then the top name and the name underneath are our winners. Go. And our winners are here. Boom. Oh, I got AC. AC Printing Plus and Lisa. 
is that Reese, Lisa, you're here all the time, but I can't pronounce names. Is it Reese? I'm just going with the sim simple pronunciation of it and hoping that it's right. Let me know if that is right. Because I'm going to forget it. it is right, or you just said yes because you're happy you won a mini pack. <laughs> you said you can pronounce it however you want as long as I win mini packs. Oh, I got it right. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So, what else we got? Any other questions? <coughs> Let me move my comments up here real quick. Let's go back here. Um, the software I use to do my lives is this right here. It's OBS. Okay, OBS. So, oh, by the way, Clayton, don't forget the new new thing we're doing. Nicole did it. When you get your cameo, when you get your signed cameo that you won tonight. I want a video saying how awesome TRW is and how you want a free cameo and a shout out for your business. Let's go. John, dude, I just saw your text today. I got you, John. You at home? Or is that Mel on here? If it's Mel, tell John I saw. You are the first one, Nicole. Yes, you are. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, that's weird. I'll have to see with that. <laughs> Sean's was made for kids. Okay, I got you, John. Through Messenger as well. Awesome, Nicole. Appreciate it. Well, shoot. If that's the case, hold on. Let me do this. Let me come over here and do this. And do, 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 do. let's see here. Let's go to the rhinestone world. Let me switch back to my screen over here. Why did you do the Cricut Joy? Um, Lexi, because of all the curves and everything on it, the Bling Anything sheets wouldn't have looked good. Because the Bling Anything sheets aren't going to follow all the curves and everything else. MB, appreciate the support. You're a freaking all-star. Love it. Free training this week for you. All right, hold on. Give me one second. Inbox. I'm looking for it, Nicole. Uh-uh. Oh, there we are. Let's go. Hold on. Nicole, you're going on screen. Hold on. Give me a second. Um, let me see how I can bring this over here. Boom. There it is. Nicole, free cameo. Let's see. Let me know if you guys can hear it. Oh, no, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I got you. Ready? Oh, I can't hear it. Dang it. Hold on. Hold on. Second. Hey, 
TRW crew, this is Nicole from my home office of Dazzling Dream Designs, here to thank Matt Vasalio from the Ryan Stone World for my personally signed free cameo. And I want to thank him so much for giving us the opportunity to learn what he does every day and makes our business better. Please check out my business, Dazzling Dream Designs, on Facebook and TikTok. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. That's awesome, Nicole. Appreciate it. All right, you're next. And we'll have another one next week and another one after that and so on. And then what I'll do is I'll make a video of it and we'll put it on the website and stuff. And then it's getting you guys uh, some, I mean, Nicole, what, 400 people just saw what your TikTok and everything else is now, right? Um, the printable reflective, I'm still, I got some, I tested it out. Are you talking about heat transfer vinyl or sign vinyl, Becky? Let me know. Awesome, Joanne. Um, for the, the free SVG, any designs that you get from us, whether it's a free SVG or a paid one, you can use it for finished products, okay? You can use it for finished products. So you just can't resell the design at all or, or sell a design with that design in it. So yes, the goal is for you to make money selling your t-shirts and decals. You got it, no problem. Um, the HTV reflective printable. Um, I, my wash tests are looking awesome on it. So I already have, the, I'll probably be placing the order for it tomorrow, which means probably about two weeks as far as to get that in. I'm thinking probably about two weeks. And we'll probably sell it in, I'm guessing we'll probably do five yard, five or 10 yard rolls. <clears throat> uh, Michael, animal peak pack, it just depends. So the peak pack has been out for us. So all of these deals that we're doing on the artwork packs, are, um, is that what's in Man, I got the animal mini pack. Yeah, so Suzanne, yes. The, as you guys know, when we release packs, we a lot of times we'll release them as mini packs first, and then they turn into a full pack. So if along the process you got the mini packs, then you basically have the full pack. Does that make sense? You should, Nicole. That's awesome. <coughs> I'm not scared. If any, everybody on here, some people might look at it. Everybody on here, th real quick, throw your TikTok or your Instagram account on here. If you got a YouTube channel, throw it on here real quick. I'm allowing you to right now. Throw it on here, some people might see it. We still got we still got 360 freaking people here. Might help you guys out. Because here's a lot of people are like, well, how would that help us out? Here's how it would help you out. I want you guys to work with each other. Okay? So, for example, for you guys to work with each other, let's say Becky, let's say Becky has a Versicam. But Joy wants to do full color stuff. Well, if Becky, if Joy goes to Becky's page, right? Hold on, I gotta show it. Some of these it won't allow it to go through, so I'm gonna hit show. So if if Becky wants to go to, um, or if Joy wants to go to Becky's page and sees that Becky does full color print, well, Joy might say, "Hey, Becky." I saw you on Matt's Live. I see that you do full color prints. Can I outsource some stuff to you? And now Becky's making money, but now Joy's making money, and everybody's happy, right? So you don't always have to go to the big companies to get your stuff. Talk with people on here and build relationships with different people on here to grow your business. 
Don't go out and buy a freaking $15,000 VersaCam tomorrow. Find somebody that has a VersaCam, build up your VersaCam customer base, right? And then go from there. Um, John, is that you or Mel that's on here? Or both of you? Are you guys still on here? I didn't see. Let me know. See? And Joy has a VersaCam. So there you go. Okay, everybody that does, let me know what you do. Embroidery, uh, VersaCam, sublimation. Everybody just type what they do. And somebody might go through later and look. And if your printer is not working, you call Irv. And Irv is right there, Irv Donaldson. And Irv is the VersaCam guru. Ah, gotcha, John. So, John, do you have those things in stock? I don't want to say anything yet, just to make sure that you have stuff. So, John, you know what I'm talking about from the trade show. Do you have those in stock, John? I'm going to show you guys all something here in a minute. Still 360 of you here. I'm waiting for John's comment. I don't want to get to talk about it too much in case they don't have any, because I don't want to tease you guys, right? Yes, Irv. <laughs> Damn it, Irv. <laughs> Where are you at, John? We just got a shipment coming of 2,500 with new colors. We'll be here on the 25th. Okay, in 10 days. Guys, give me um, 30 seconds. I need to go grab something. All right, I'm back. So any of you that were at the Long Beach trade show and came by the booth, John was in the booth with us. And John and Mel actually sell these, these glitter hats on their website. So you can see a complete glitter hat. You can put heat transfer vinyl on them. You can embroider them. And then they also have a little, for me, John made these specifically for me and my hair, a little ponytail backing as well. And he is getting more on the 25th. So, and how many colors now? He had a boatload of colors. So there's the blue one. Again, with a little ponytail. And this is kind of like a, um, it's almost like our um, confetti color. So, John, it's not going to allow you to put in a website up to 20 colors. Sweet. Um, so give me a second. John, actually, put the website in, John, and then I think I can approve it so I can show everybody where. <clears throat> it is kind of a rose gold, but it also has, I'm not sure if you can see all the different colors that kind of hit it, too. I, I have my ponytail up tonight. Um, I might put it down on Thursday. Yes, he did, Brian. Yes, he did. I'm going to see. John, it probably, because it normally won't let you do um, links, but it might let me, it might just highlight it and it'll let me approve it. I, I should. I should go get a fake. <laughs> I'll go get a fake 
a big old wig by Thursday. <laughs> uh, I know. Oh, you still have it, Peggy? <laughs> remember, when I, remember when I did the headband blowout last year and I wore the wig? <laughs> oh, yes. Um, AC, just shoot an email to info at therhinestoneworld.com. Let them know you were the winner. They'll check it and then just let them know what mini pack you want. Uh, I'm trying to see. John, did you post it? I couldn't see if you did. Or it, or it isn't coming through if you did. Shoot me a message, John. I know, right? 340 of you still here? We are freaking killing it tonight. <clears throat> um, any new on trade show returns, ISS? Um, I'm thinking, Eddie, that we will. I do plan on doing ISS Long Beach if everything's kind of somewhat back to a halfway normal. I love it, Matt. Yes. Is it some good Kool-Aid patty? <laughs> uh, the ISS Long Beach is the largest one. Well, for what we do, it is, yes. We are still here, Dr. Phil. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to... I'm looking at possibly going to the show, the... Uh, Print United show. I'm looking at possibly going to the Print United show, which is in Atlanta. And, oh, shoot. Hold on. Um, ba, 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 ba. All right, gotcha. So you're just going to go to glitterhats.com. Let's get it. Boom, there you go. Glitterhats.com. But I'm looking at going to the Print United show because a lot of, there's a lot of big companies there. And, um, I don't have any of the, for any temporary tattoos, no. Um, so I make some pretty good connections with a lot of the different big um, material companies and whatnot. So it's not necessarily really a show for our stuff. It's starting to get a little bit more, but it's pretty good. Um, it is in um, Atlanta this year, I'm sure. And it's starting to get a little bit more towards the apparel side. It's a huge show. So, Printing United. Oh, this is, yeah, there it is. October 21st through the 23rd. I know that is a cheap ticket from SRQ, isn't it, Johnny? So they're still talking about updating and they're still talking about what it's going to, if it's going to go and everything else. So we'll see. 
So I'm not going to exhibit there. I may, I've never gone to a trade show and just kind of walked it and done the trade show. And I've always wanted to, and this is a good excuse to do it, possibly. So we'll see. Um, Eric, if you give a call first thing in the morning... If not, I'll have to. I'm not sure if I want the answer to match up. Uh, if not, I'll have to go get that. The black reflect for the heat transfer vinyl, Eric, or the sign vinyl? The graphite and the um, gun metal is going to be a little while. We're still, we're still trying to figure out dates on that. That's back ordered right now. So, but give a call tomorrow. And just give a call in the morning or shoot an email and see. Sign vinyl. Okay, sign vinyl is going to be probably, I'm, I'm going to assume early next week. Friday would be best case, but nothing's shipping fast right now. Awesome, Johnny. When is the in-house? And it isn't then, is it? Is it, Johnny? Tell me it's not the same dates. I don't think it is, right? October 14th through 16th. Okay, I didn't think it was. Hey, Debbie, you have a good night. No, reflective sign vinyl step you would put directly on the water bottle. You don't need bling anything. White reflective HGV or sign? This is where it's getting more difficult, right? Because we have the reflect HTV and the reflect sign. The show in Atlanta is printing United. About the black and the white reflect sign are those that, yeah, those are good. The white will, is obviously the most popular. I put HTV on face mask, yeah. Um, I got some right here. So this one is with holographic heat transfer vinyl. This one is with our TRW Blast Reflect. This one's with actual rhinestones. Um, and I think those are all the ones I've done so far. Yep. These are just blank. Yep, yep. Um, Jesse, no new mini packs tonight. We'll have them on Thursday. Yes, correct. For the sign vinyl question, yes. So just like we made, like, I would literally put, where did our little guy go? Do I have him over here? Yeah. If this were the size, I would put him onto the water bottle, and he's good to go. On the coffee mug, you can still do sign vinyl, but when you're using a heat transfer vinyl, that's when you press it to the bling anything. So like the black rainbow that I did, that I showed you that picture of, that is a heat transfer vinyl which goes to the bling anything material. Um, that was gold and gold and stone actually. Gold and stone that I did there. Can the gold reflect it? We're testing that out right now, Julie Gooley. We're testing reflect on reflect, so if that works, then easy weed on reflect would work as well. Um, I have a question. Can I make dog mom mini pack one, two colors to put on bling anything? Yeah, you would just put a border around it, for example, Jen. Put like a, uh, um, I'm not sure with if you, have, yeah, you have the wizard, don't you? But put a, um, a magic boundary around it 
and then just make that like a white or whatever, and then the other color on top. Um, graph tech light, nope. Couldn't get the reflective flat mass enough, so I'm doing twinkle. Um, Eliza, did you hear my quick one on that? No. Nope. And then nope. Does text to path work for a live text for a circle? Um, no, yes, for a circle, but not live text, okay? I mean, you can retype it into live text, but it's not going to stay in the envelope, or you can't use the um, text effects area for a circle. Does that make sense, Joe? <clears throat> Apparently the website has a max of four feet. It's because there's probably, Eric, only four feet left. The black sign vinyl reflective was the only one we had any left. And when we started tonight, we had like 60 feet or something. And I guarantee you there's probably only because there's only four feet left. Um, Rhonda Bright has a question. I didn't see your question, Rhonda. I'm trying to scroll up. I have wizard, but the calculator doesn't count my rhinestones. How do I set that up so I can buy and change the money to? Um, unfortunately, Rhonda, you can't change it from U.S. currency. So that is, is set, unfortunately. We've been looking to try to get something, but because there's so much into it, it makes it like there's months and months worth of coding to do that. My back, 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 test, 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 hello, hello, anybody home? There we go. All right, we're back. Karen, when you say print, you don't, you aren't technically meaning, so cut is I think what you're saying, Karen, right? So, yes, the sign vinyl that you got, you can cut it and it goes direct, can go directly on a mug. But you can't, you need a print material to be able to print. Yes, cut, okay. I just wanted to make sure. I didn't want to say, I think, I thought that's what you were saying, but I didn't want to say yes just in case you were thinking print on it. Good. Um, graph Tech Light, what are your thoughts, Matt? My thoughts are no. Those are my thoughts, no. Um, we don't sell it. It's too expensive for what you're getting with it, unfortunately, because I love the regular Graph Techs. They're my favorite cutter, but I'm honest with you as well. Graph Tech Lite, no. Yeah, just, yes, Karen, just the wrong term, correct. But just be careful. Just make sure, just in case, because I knew what you were saying. I just wanted to make sure. But if you talk to somebody else or something and you say print, then they're going to assume that you're using like a Versicam or something like that. What else we got? Uh, the calculator doesn't count my rhinestones. You might have just changed one of the settings, weird Rhonda, and didn't realize it. Um, if you just give a call into the warehouse, they can log right into your computer and see, and they'll show you 
because it, it's set up when it comes. But you may have just gone into it by mistake and clicked a button by mistake and unset them. So no worries. Yes, Karen, I do. <laughs> but Karen, I was at your point at some point just like everybody else in here. So keep asking questions. Don't feel bad asking questions or saying the wrong thing. That's how you learn. Does the red reflective look coral colored? Um, no, I don't think so. I feel like it looks pretty red. If you're talking about the heat transfer vinyl. Um, yeah, Rhonda, I'm thinking it was just a weird setting that you might have hit. But there's no way to really know unless they go into your computer and see it. The gunmetal is sweet, I agree. Um, it's always recommended, Natasha. It's always recommended. Um, the reflective, the fluorescent red. Yeah, the fluorescent red, I could almost see that. I could almost see the fluorescent red almost being kind of a coralish color. I could see that. Like the regular red, I think, definitely looks red. But I could, I mean, both, all of the fluorescents obviously look a little bit different. Yeah, I agree with that. And that's what's nice. That's honestly the reason why I made this for when you guys have questions like that, right? Um, Joe, it's a Corel limitation. So... We would, we're trying to build it to be able to do that, but it's just a Corel limitation right now that can't. Make sure you ungroup the stones and only select the color and not the cut file. That could be it, Karen. That could be it. Had the same problem initially. Thank you for trying to help. Um, yeah, Peggy, so with that Peggy, let me switch my screen here real quick. So when I come over and I change my stone size, and then when we do get the six, it'll, it'll be changed already for you, but most of yours is set at 0 0.130 for your fixed size. So the biggest thing you need to do is if you change the fixed size to 0.135 inches, make sure the variance is at least one higher than that. Okay? And then you just hit add and it changes it. And then you have to change the SS16s up to one higher than the 0.136, which is 0.137. And then add again, and then save. All right, Denise, have a good night. Thanks for coming by. Uh, the red reflective, it, I'm trying to see. Let me show you. I think I have some of it here. Let's see if I still have some of it here. Or did I use it all? Might have used it all. Dang it. Because what I wanted to show you was when it's on the carrier sheet, it looks a little bit different. 
but I don't even think I have any. I think we completely used it all. I'm even looking in my scrap area. Yeah, this is it. Look. So this is the red reflective here. All right. This is the red reflective here. And let me just cut off a little piece of this. And weed this. So you'll see when it's on the carrier sheet, I see what you guys are saying. It kind of gives a little bit different look. But then when you look at the actual red, see, because this is a kind of a cloudy sheet, a cloudy carrier sheet, right? So look at the difference when you look at it there and then you look at it here. See the difference of that? It, so if you haven't actually cut it and weeded it, it looks a different color then, because this is the area you see once you press it, right? So it's just this cloudy sheet. Look, you can't even see through to see me because of this sheet right here, or the carrier sheet. So that's probably what you guys, I'm thinking that's what you guys are saying as far as the red looking a little different. Um, I used reflective for the Husky, but that was... Remember, that was the sign vinyl, so completely different material. That's sign vinyl. Dang, Matt, the magic boundary worked like a charm. I've been searching videos for two days to figure that out. That's awesome, Jen. Love helping. Um, install the graph protect blade into the Cameo 4. You just need that um, kind of brownish... Um, housing that, with, that comes with the Cameo 4, Evelyn. So the blade holder so this is our TRW blade holder but then you'll see this here this opens up like this right and then there's my blade holder there's the housing that comes with the Cameo 4. This little notch needs to go into this little notch there. So line those up just like that. Then it closes in, clicks, and then load it into your cutter. Um, Clayton, all you need to do, your next order that requires shipping on the website, it could be... Uh, one piece of 69 cent sign vinyl. You just put in the order history that um, I won the Silhouette Cameo 4. They'll verify it and ship it with it. And then they'll let me know. I, get, I write your little note on it. We're good to go. Uh, Maria, I did, but I haven't uploaded it yet. I was having problems rendering it on Friday, so I'm having to re I'm having to re-download my editing software because I was having issues with it. Awesome, Clayton. Appreciate it. Um, the Wizard Corel bundle is still on sale. Remember, we never discount the Wizard, but the Corel side of it is discounted right now. You can use design packs with Silhouette Studio, yeah, because you're just bringing, use, you would use the SVG file. The 20 inch is supposed to be releasing during the Silhouette Summit, which I think is in September. September or October. Sweet daddy. All right, crew. Only, only about three and a half hours tonight, right? Only about three and a half hours. Everybody have a good time? Yes, it is, Natasha. 
Everybody have a good time. Amazing time, hopefully. Hopefully you guys all learned some stuff. We had a bunch of winners, but you guys all won because hopefully you guys learned something that's going to help your business, right? And just to let you know, Thursday, 12 noon Eastern time, different day, different time, same place, YouTube channel right here. We'll be making some new stuff. We got some new mini packs coming out, and we also will have a new full artwork pack at a crazy, stupid deal like tonight. So just to let you know, the Animal Peak Pack will be at that price through tomorrow, okay? Through tomorrow. So basically 24 hours. So through tomorrow, Animal Peak Pack is $100 off plus 65% off of that all right crew i will see all of you guys on thursday it's only 11 20 i need to go work on some wizard 6.0 stuff sean's training is tomorrow at seven o'clock and you'll see it on the main page of the website free wizard training tomorrow at seven all right crew hey appreciate all of you guys you guys are all freaking awesome we had 600 plus of you there's still 275 of you here GRW crew, killing it. Appreciate you, crew. I will see you guys soon. Later.